couldn't help but look. With his entire body paralyzed by the shock he felt in that moment, he was unable to avert his gaze from the horror before him. I'm begging you! Don't look! Why are you crying? Ozzily! Please, get out of here right now, Granzalo! Where is Master? <laughs> you have to get away! <laughs> Ozzily! Your hand is... What's happening? The sword. I am both the beginning and the end, just as the beast called time itself. The soon another. approximately 1,000 years ago. The dwarves inhabiting this land since time immemorial have been driven to the far edges of the continent by invading dragons. And as the expanding human population begins to commingle with the dragons, a new breed arises, the Sorcerer. Already. I'm going for high five. 
fun and low casualties. Don't tell me how to do my job. You shouldn't be causing any casualties. I don't want to hear that from someone slinging his sorcery around in the middle of a crowded street. I'm not the one who took out <laughs> a bystander. <laughs> They're getting away! Right now, you've got bigger things to worry about. That guy's going into convulsions. Oh my gosh, I forgot I coated them with anesthetic. <laughs> Sorcerer, can you heal him? I repair thee, scars of the sunset. That's a relief. Now I don't have to arrest you for obstruction. You're welcome. How very kind of you. I guess sorcerers can be good to have around, even if they happen to be dropouts like yourself. <sighs> Even dropouts like me, huh? Food's ready. Here you go. Wow, looks great. Thanks, Magic. Hey, Orphan. I was watching you from the windows earlier. And I saw you using your sorcery to take on those two thieving dwarves. It was really awesome! Still, all the people I've met who call themselves sorcerers have turned out to be nothing but frauds. Con artist who can cast one or two spells well enough to trick people into giving him money. Orphan's not like that, Dad. He's the real deal. I know it. There's something I've been meaning to ask you for a while. That pendant is the one they give to black sorcerers who train at the Tower of Fangs, right? Sure is. So if you have that, it means you really did study sorcery there. Yeah, that's right. Then you learned black sorcery from some of the very best in the land. Man, that's the coolest! What brought that up? You trying to become a sorcerer or something? Yeah, I am kind of interested. Mom's from a sorcerer family. If it runs in your family, there's a chance that you have a knack for it. Wow, do you mean it? Yeah, in fact, I can sense it in you. Then, do you think you can teach me to use sorcery? Yeah, I could. Though we would need to talk about compensation. <gasps> That's enough of that. You're not gonna weasel out of your tab by tricking my son into taking your phony lessons, so don't try it. If you were that good of a sorcerer, you wouldn't have to scrape out a living making shady loans to sketchy dwarves, would you? And I'm betting that line about him having the knack was a lie, too. That's harsh, man. I've been completely honest with you guys this whole time. So what exactly makes you think magic might have a talent for sorcery anyway? There are sorcerers in his mother's bloodline. And what's more, he has pure, sincere passion. That's the most important part of sorcery. It's worth trying, at least. Yeah, that's the truth. But for me... Welcome! Wow, I won't be your only customer for once. Hey, buddy, I've got a deal you're uh, not gonna wanna miss. It's you two! That cop from before must be gone by now, right? Come on, the coast is clear! <sighs> Why are you getting me involved in this? You keep complaining about not having your money back yet. So this killer deal is my way of paying it off. Your cut will be half the profits. Why would I take a job from you when you're the one who owes me? Fine then. Have fun covering your tab, pal. I only have a tab because of you. Screw it, I'm in this monkey suit. Now what am I doing? You'll know when we get there. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, so where is everybody? I heard that something showed up in a village nearby. What does something mean? I don't know the answer to that. But whatever it was, people are scared to go outside. Who cares? Let's keep moving! You better not have dragged me into some kind of shady business. Have we learned anything new? Because if we haven't, then I've been waiting for nothing this entire time. <sighs> right? Do you still not understand that reading people's thoughts unbidden is an abuse of your abilities? One should always make use of the abilities they've acquired. And what if you weren't able? My answer to that echoes the thought that passed through your mind just now. Indeed, I would become like him or her. Can you not imagine an ability overpowering the one who wields it? When you speak of that, do you refer to us? To follow your thinking to its conclusion, it seems one would have to indict sorcery itself. That's not my point. I'm fully aware of the value of our training as sorcerers. But the purpose of that training, the reason we risk our lives for it here, is to allow us to bridle the terrifying power granted by sorcery, not to further augment that power. Perhaps that is so. But your power has been greatly augmented, hasn't it? 
Enough that you're now known as the Keening of Death. I would prefer it if you didn't call me by that nickname. Do you not get the sense we're like children showing each other the parlor tricks we've learned? Yet surely you can't deny that there is value in your title, right, Tish? I don't like that nickname either. Ah. Uh, on that note, what shall we call her after five years missing? The Chaos... No. The one once known as the Chaos Witch. <laughs> Kanta. Ah, uh, back home in Mabrenst, you wouldn't find a single soul who doesn't know the name Purple Warts. That's my name? <laughs> <laughs> Come now. I know sitting in front of these beautiful ladies is nerve wracking, but surely you can at least remember your own name, Mr. Warts. And being from Mabrenst, I'm sure you belong to a well established line of nobles, yes? Nobles? Oh, no. oh, yes, indeed! But he's decided to strike out and make his own fortune. May I ask how? Manufacturing sleeping pills. Why that? Sleeping pills? That's our sales pitch? Just go with it. Every high-class lady loves sleeping pills. I thought all this through. We'd like a moment, please. Mary Abella? <laughs> <laughs> You know all that fancy sorcery, so some improv shouldn't be that hard, you schmuck! Improv? You dress me up in this goofy-looking rented suit, sit me down in front of these women in their giant mansion with no explanation, and make me pretend to be a guy named Purple Warts? Hey, Volka never told me anything about his plan, so this whole scheme is news to me, too. Of course, because this trick is far too elaborate for me to break it down enough for a couple simpletons, but... That's why it's not working, stupid! And you're supposed to run this scam on naive country girls living on their own, not rich city folk who can get us thrown in jail! What scam? I'm giving you a chance to marry into the Everlasting family! Our dad's pocket changed next to their estate! You pull it off and we both win! Like hell! You didn't think this through at all, you little miscreant! Let's go! Come in. Sorry, I forgot to knock. I know my manners, but they slipped my mind just then. Who are you? My name is Cleo. I'm the second daughter of the Everlasting family. Hi there. Gosh, it's always fun having guests. I love how they bring in the air from faraway places. Uh, it's nice, since I've never left Totokanta myself. <laughs> anyway, what about you guys? You're doing a marriage scam, right? <gasps> yeah, you're trying to trick my sister. How much do you think you'll get? Tell me! Oh, sorry. I might have been eavesdropping on you uh, through the door a little. Great. For how long? Pretty much the whole time, I think. Yeah, Mom and Mary Abella were talking about you. They haven't decided whether or not they wanted to call the police yet. But they're definitely going to have a few pieces sent from the armory and teach you guys a lesson either way. For the record, none of this was my idea, miss! We're here on behalf of the Continental Sorcerers Association, educating your family about scams like my partner was describing. This guy here is the real mastermind! That's a lie! It's hard, but we mustn't falter in our war against crime. No, it was actually this evil black sorcerer! He brainwashed me! Shut up! <laughs> Maybe I could improvise our way out of this mess if you'd shut up a minute and stop trying to pin your dumb scam on me. <laughs> I get it now. This whole thing was a bit, wasn't it? And in a few seconds, someone's going to walk in with a big sign and tell me where your comedy troupe is playing. That's exactly right, miss! Fraud gets you a 15-year sentence, by the way. Uh. I was coerced into doing that! But still, that part about you being a sorcerer was true, huh? Yeah. Uh, don't worry about the damage to the floor. I repair thee, Scars of the Sunset. That's so cool! Oh, wait, that just reminded me. Another 
sorcerer came here before. Really? Is that so? Yeah, to see Dad. I'm not sure what a sorcerer would have wanted from him, but I guess he was helping them out. Ah, I shouldn't mention my father passed from an illness two years ago. I'm sorry to hear about your loss, miss. I remember him saying he had come from Tafram, and he had this weird-looking pendant on. Well, the Tower of Fangs is in Tafram, so that makes sense. That place is crawling with sorcerers. <laughs> I might know who he was if you describe him to me. Could you? Uh... I remember the guy being pretty built. Long black hair, tied back into a ponytail. We've just entered the city of Totokanta. Hello, Master. Hartia. You know him? He's one of Childman's former students and secretary at the local Continental Sorcerers Association branch. When was it? Tell me. It was a pretty long time ago, way back before I even started school. Though now that you mention it, somebody like that also showed up about five years ago. They apparently came to deliver something important to my father. Is that it? Huh? I think there's a chance that it was... Hey! Let's get out of here! <gasps> Mr. Burple Warts! My name isn't Burple Warts, it's Orphan. As an... an orphan? Yeah, that's right. <gasps> Mom!
To human ears, it was the cry of a beast, bearing no more meaning than the baying of a dog. And yet, as the creature's voice rang out across the sky, the air trembling under its weight. I need thee thus, chainmail of halos! Untangle these webs, dancing broncos! feel distant now, though in truth not many moons have passed since. On the northwestern part of the continent stands the Tower of Fangs, where powerful sorcerers hone their craft. And among these elite trainees, only the best of the best have the skill to earn a place in Childman's class. Now, Hartia. <laughs> Hark, oh light! <laughs> Vanish. Tisha. Sir. Oh, lightning! Ha! Be sundered. <laughs> that was rough. Where's Corgan? Last I saw, he was in the attic with his nose in a book. Meaning he hasn't left. Color me surprised. We need to do something about that habit of his. As class monitor, I'm supposed to know where he is, and it would certainly help if you would tell me. Either way, you're up next. <laughs> Thank you, Master, but I must respectfully decline your offer. Come on, don't spoil the fun like that. <laughs> well, then I suppose it's my turn to try. Combination! Two, seven, five! Treating this like a game. Understood, Master. Hark, O Light! This is the chaos switch for you. Untangle these webs! Dancing Bronco! What was that? Childman's class must be at it again. <laughs> you really do need to learn to hold back, Ozalie. Combat training should be a little dangerous. I hope you don't intend to include that in your letter of apology. What? For real? Again? Oh, come on, that's like 50 now! <laughs> Those signals you were sending me, they meant nothing. I wonder if this instrument will last longer than the others. <laughs> it's not like I'm trying to take up music as a hobby. We know that sorcerers can use their voices to create magic. I want to find out if we can do it with other sounds. <laughs> hey, you done writing yet? Uh, cut that out! Sheesh, why am I writing your apology letter? Because I'm sick of writing them myself. You wouldn't have to if you would just learn to hold back a little bit. He's right. Huh? You need to stop causing problems or you'll get Childman's whole class thrown out of the tower. We already have a bad reputation with the other classes around here. Mm -hmm. They know that we're talented, but they see us as a bunch of troublemakers. What's with the armband? I applied to be a prefect for our class. This bunch of hooligans clearly needs a strong hand to keep them in line. A strong hand? Great. Somehow this is gonna turn out badly for me. <laughs> Behold! My greatest breakthrough so far! At last, I was able to create a working miniaturized mechanical soldier! Necessity truly is the mother of invention! The only thing it lacks is a name! Take this! How could you? Behold, the destroyer of failed experiments. It's called the Bye 
my bat. The god of gears will grind you between his mighty teeth for that, you murderer! You're always cleaning up after your stupid inventions. I saved us all some time and skipped straight to the last step. Yeah, that's right. Stop making trouble. Or else you're gonna pay for it! Hey, what are you looking at me for? All I did was sell your lipstick to one of your admirers. You stole my lipstick? You are the worst! <laughs> oh, lightning! <laughs> Divine wrath. Hey, wake up! How long are you gonna sleep? You're the reason we're stuck in this hole, so get your ass out of bed and fix it! Fraud, disturbing the peace, property damage? With all these charges against us, we could end up stuck in this pit for the rest of our lives! Hey, Magic Man, get us out of here with your stupid sorcery! I could be out of here by now if I wanted to. I can get past that lock in two seconds. But being a fugitive's not gonna make my life any easier. And frankly, you're a dirty little con man who should be in jail. I'm not the one who was trying to have a friendly conversation with a rampaging dragon! They saw you talking to that monster, and now they all think it had something to do with us, so this is on you! Don't you dare call her a monster! Wait, who's her? She was a little bit older than me, and she always showed me a lot of care and affection. I guess I got attached. Man, I wasn't under the impression you were normal or anything. But I never thought you were raised by a giant monster. I guess it kind of makes sense, though. <laughs> we both came from the Tower of Fangs. The Tower of Fangs? The sorcerers who trained there are really powerful. That's where we were raised. Ozalie, her cousin, and I entered the tower out of the orphanage where we grew up. It was a pretty common story there. Most of the sorcerers we trained with were orphans just like us. People with families to look out for them would never have ended up living in a place like that. Students at the tower are more likely to be killed during training than to graduate. Then you're saying that Mon, that big scaly flying creature used to be a woman who trained with you at the tower? That's right. <laughs> started on this journey was to track her down and change her back to normal, wasn't it? I was about to give up looking for her until she suddenly appeared in front of me. But I don't know what kind of sorcery she used when she transformed herself, which means I can't do anything to reverse it. Perlancelo. <sighs> Sorry. It's Orphan now, right? Hardia. Let's go. Master's waiting to see you. I didn't realize you were in Totokanta, too. <laughs> I'm the local branch secretary. To be honest, though, I'm more like a glorified housekeeper. You haven't changed, Hardia. Not one bit. <laughs> but you've changed quite a bit. Huh. Five years have come and gone, Crelancelo. <laughs> As you see, Master's finally recovered. Choice. 
She turned herself into a monster in her recklessness and then escaped. That stain on our honor could destroy the Tower of Fangs. How can you call Azali a stain? She's one of the greatest talents to ever come out of this place. A master of black sorcery, who also learned white sorcery on her own. Yes, we've lost a truly impressive sorcerer. She's not lost! You know that she's still alive! Cut it out! All you're doing is making things worse for yourself! I'm only speaking the truth! You're a member of the Tower's elite now! The top sorcerer in our class! None of that matters! Uh, it should have been her! Azalee has far more talent than I do, but she thought the exams were a waste of time. And we'd be wasting our time by burying an empty coffin! So now I'm going to give you all a reason to be here! Quilancelo is dead! That name will be buried here today, in this grave, with the memory of Osley. I'm going to find her, no matter what. Even if it takes my whole life, in the end, I can be replaced. But she can't. From now on, call me what I am, an orphan. There's something that I meant to ask you when you woke up. She said the two of you were planning some kind of experiment. What exactly was she talking about? Attempting to activate the Sword of Baldanders. Uh, the Sword of Baldanders? That experiment was a failure. The sword's magic discharged, leaving Azalee in her transformed state, and me in a deep coma. I am awake now, and she has re-emerged as well. My guess is that she has also been unconscious since she transformed. But we have no way of knowing if she still remembers the person she was up to that day. It's possible that she retained her memories and impulses, including an instinctual urge to try and return to her human form. How did that sword end up here? That was on Master's orders. Just as he was losing consciousness, he asked Forte to deliver it. I've been close with the Everlasting family for some time. To keep the sword from falling into the wrong hands, I had it sent to them and sealed in their armory. And that must be what drew Azalee to their estate. She wanted that sword to try and reverse her transformation. We followed her here based on that same notion. But so far, we failed to capture her. If you're both fresh out of a coma, you should still be more powerful than her. Even the tower's greatest prodigy couldn't rival your ability. My black sorcery is stronger. But the matter is hardly as simple as that. Uh. Her white sorcery. Indeed, the power to manipulate the flow of time in the human mind. Subtle and yet devastatingly powerful. Our counter strategy is to attack with an overwhelming number of sorcerers. Black sorcerers would be preferable, ones who've proven themselves in combat. You're talking about a plan to take down one of your own students. Did you bring me here so you could order me to help you kill her? I can't do that. I have no authority over you now. I can only ask for your help. I refuse. She's not the Ozzily we knew. She lost her mind, and now she's stolen a powerful artifact. If this gets out, the Tower of Fangs will lose all authority. Help us, Crelancelo. This is your chance to redeem your name. You won't have to bear the dishonor of abandoning the tower. And then you'll finally be able to come home again. Hardia! That's enough. <clears throat> this argument won't resolve anything. We're attacking tonight. I'm gathering a team of sorcerers to head out and subjugate the monster. How do you know that you'll be able to find her? I saw to it that we would have a way to track her as soon as we reached Orokanta. I broke into the Everlasting Estate and set a beacon on the Sword of Baldanders. It will lead us directly to her, no matter where she runs. Then whatever I do, you'll still be one step ahead of me. If you choose not to take part in this subjugation mission, you'll be giving up your only chance to see her alive again. The choice is yours, Krilancelo. When will you be heading out? The mission begins at sundown. Use this time to prepare. is ready if you want it, Orphan. Uh, are you walking out on your tab? No, of course not. Okay. Don't worry, it's just part of my work. Ah, I guess it must be pretty hard being a loan shark. Hey! 
The truth is, there's a chance I won't make it back here. Time's been stuck for me the last five years. And now it's moving again. Someday you'll understand. Probably. My mother and sister are still in bed right now. So no marriage fraud today. That was a one-time thing. Okay, then. Did you come back to clean up the mess? Yeah. I repair thee. Scars of the sunset. Whoa! So what do those magic words mean? Well, not a lot. The most important part is using my voice as a medium to channel the power of my sorcery. It doesn't really matter what words I use. Wow, seriously? That's right, I'll show you. Repair. I'm surprised. You actually did come back to fix everything. Thanks for that. It's nice of you to say thanks, but if you paid me, I'd be able to close my tab at the inn. Sorry, I would if I could, but I don't have any money that I can give you. <laughs> How about this? Come on, I was just kidding with you. This ring is another weird random thing that one of the sorcerers brought here. And my father told me that I could keep it. <sighs> Do you know how to read the characters on this ring? I couldn't even tell they were characters. They're weird glyphs, ancient writing. It's a spell. Be disarmed, my foes, is how it's read. It seems like this ring was meant to protect the person wearing it from an attack. But I think the enchantment can only work once. Oh, yeah. That's right. The engraving's not too good. So I don't think that the person who made it was all that powerful of a sorcerer. And I wish it was a bit bigger. It barely fits on my pinky. I guess it was made for some girly girl with pretty hands. I'm not dainty <sighs> enough to wear it. But you are a girly girl with pretty hands, Ozily. Aw, you're so sweet. Thank you, Kralancelo. Hey, if they made the ring that small, I wonder if its original owner might have been a little kid. That makes sense, yeah. And if it was made for a child, maybe we can trigger the spell without an incantation. Oh, and on that note, we're trying an experiment tonight with another enchanted item like this one. Really? Cool, huh? I'm helping Master with it. He needs me to translate the weird glyphs. I am a little nervous since he said it could be dangerous, but we're going through with it. Is there something special about that thing? Did Forte bring this here too? Who's Forte? A really tall guy with shaggy hair. Oh yeah, right! He was the one who came from the Tower of Fangs to see my dad before! I thought it might have been him. Did the two of you train at the Tower together? Yeah, along with Osley, the one who owned this ring. Ozily? When the monster attacked yesterday, I remember you trying to talk to it and calling it Ozily. So was that thing somebody you knew from the tower? Ozily's not a monster. Or a thing. Sorry I can't stay and fix your yard. I'm in a hurry. Where are you going? I have to find Ozily. Will you capture her? I won't. I'm gonna get to her before they do. Convince her to go with me, then run. Uh... I'm going to protect her. It's time. Prepare to move out. So you came in the end. The squad will be marching shortly. We're going to need you to take point for this fight. After all, we won't have to write a letter of apology if you die. Let's go. You came, Krilancelo. Hello, Comicron. These are experienced sorcerers, some of whom I know well, but I can't let that get to me. I'm going to protect her, no matter what. In order to 
assemble a squad with this many sorcerers, someone would normally have to seek direct permission from the king himself. I'm sure this isn't a legal expedition. On top of that... That guy walking in the back, can he seal off Ozali's white sorcery? I don't know, but the possibility alone made him worth bringing to the fight. There's no guarantee that one white sorcerer will be able to seal the powers of another. This is a knife fight, and we stand a better chance if we have a blade of our own. Then you launched this mission knowing that there would be sacrifices. Some of these people are marching toward their deaths. But you don't care how many of them die with Ozali's first attack, as long as there's one of you left alive who can land a killing blow. They are all well aware of the risk. The band of sorcerers walked on in silence for what seemed an eternity. Though they knew their journey would end when they found their target, and the quiet would give way to the cacophony of battle. How much longer do we have to walk? If you can't hack it, then go home! We're happy to keep your cut for ourselves! What do you mean by my cut? If we captured that thing, we could get heaps of cash for it, no doubt! And we get a powerful magic sword as a bonus! Wait, say what? I had those fraud charges dropped for a reason, you creep! We're going to help Orphan, so you can keep your stupid schemes to yourself! <laughs> you wanna go? You don't scare me at all! I'm better with a sword than you might think! Wanna find out how my school soldiers club does it? What kind of club is that? Calm down, both of you! We're in more than enough danger without you two swinging your swords around, okay? And please get it out with that creeping growling, too! I don't think that was either of us. <laughs> These are the best black sorcerers that the Tower of Fangs has to offer. Not to mention... One man who's powerful enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Thirteen Apostles, Childman. Can I win this fight? Get it together. I have to reach Ozali before they do. Otherwise, she's going to die. I feel it. She's close. It would be insane to call out to her here. But I never could have made it this far if I didn't trust my instincts. She answered my call. Why'd she burn the forest? It's me, Ozali! We have to go! Right now! I thought I'd gotten away from you. 
You did. And that's exactly why I brought you. You're the tip of the spear in this operation. <clears throat> Bastard. Here, Crelancelo. Heal. I specialized in healing sorcery. Do you remember? <laughs> stand a chance against her. If you had been back there with us, maybe Colmy Crone would still be alive right now. So please, I'm not gonna help you kill her. I'll make her human again. It's impossible for you to change her back. The only person who knew how to use that sword was Ozalie. And if you won't hand Ball Tanders over now, then our only choice is to fight it out. Oh, shadows! <laughs> I release thee! it goes in for the kill. Now, would you care to tell me what you're doing here? I was worried about you, so I came here to help! <sighs> Hardia, everything you said is true. You have a point, and I can't deny it. But I still have to do what my heart tells me. From here on out, no more deaths. Don't come after me, guys! Don't even move! <laughs> They're all dead. No, look over there. Oh, light! She's casting a spell to defend herself from Master's attack. But she still isn't using her white sorcery, even against that kind of power. Could she have lost the ability completely? Save me? 
I'm not going to stand back and watch you get killed. But I'm still no match for her. You're one of the most powerful sorcerers alive, so how is she holding her own against you? Park o' light! No! I unsheath the sword of light! You're making a lot of work for yourself. How long do you intend to prevent our attacks from landing? I know there's a way to save Ozalie. I know that she doesn't have to die. You've become a great man, Krilancelo. If the day comes when I name a successor, you'll be my first choice. Now's not the time. <laughs> what are you doing? Childman! I'll heal you soon. But right now, I have a mission to complete. Damn you. Oh, chaos! You can't! Turn this sword to the Tower Master. Stop the coach! Show yourself! You knew I'd be waiting for you, so let's make it quick. What do you hope to accomplish here? Feel free to drop the act any time. You should know exactly why I came here. I'm sorry, but I haven't the slightest. Some at the Tower want you punished for what they see as your betrayal. But the operation may have failed had you not been there to find the monster and lure it into the open. In the end, I was able to convince the Masters to let you go. You talk more than you used to. It's almost like you're not really Childman at all. <laughs> when did you figure it out? Right after you had landed the killing blow on that monster. It had something left to say. Now... Why did things end up like this? I at least deserve an honest answer to that. Don't I, Ozzy? If you get one, what then? I'll decide when I hear it. I like that response. When we were reunited, I could tell. You've gotten stronger. I'm impressed. I had no choice. Still, it seems I haven't gotten any smarter. You might be right about that. But I don't mind. In fact, it's always been one of my favorite things about you. Out of everybody I trained with at the Tower, you alone had the potential to become a great sorcerer. I've always believed that. You were the only one I would have wanted to be my partner. 
You were the only one who ever truly understood me. None of the rest could see through to the person that I really am the way you could. Five years ago. After our experiment turned me into that creature and I fled the tower. My consciousness faded in mid-flight. It took five years for my senses to return. All the while, you had been growing up. That boy, my little brother, has become a man. How long has your consciousness been inside Childman's body? Since he awakened and decided to hunt me down. It was a gamble. I believed that if I ever wanted to return to my own body, I would need the sword. That's why I let Childman lead me to it. Anybody cut by this blade can be transformed according to the wielder's desires. But when I used it, I lost my concentration. That's why I was transformed into that monster. Now that I have it back, I can take another gamble and hope that it will return my body to me. There's your answer. So, what are you going to do? I'm gonna end this charade of yours and avenge Childman's death. I never intended for him to die. If his life mattered to you, you would have found another way. That's what the Azali who I believed in would have done. I've always believed in you too. And if I were back in my own body, I'd give you all of me to make you see that. Enough! How many ways are you going to betray me, Azali? All I've been through feels like some kind of test now. Like I'm having to prove myself to the friends I've left behind. The day we set this in motion, my life was forfeit. But you're still alive. You can save her. It's up to you where your life goes from here. Whatever you ask, I'll give it to you. Why did you spare me? Because he wanted you to live. No, you're lying. Childman had been trying to kill me himself. Think. Why would he take the risk of coming for you personally? Because he wanted his own body back. You're wrong. He was the one who let you take his body in the first place. He had the power to stop you. But what he really wanted was to save you with his own hands. That can't be. <laughs> I wanted to show him that I was the woman worthy of him. I'll leave here and get those years back. The continent's greatest nexus of black sorcery, the Tower of Fangs. It is known far and wide as the crucible in which the strongest sorcerers are forged.
But even among these elite pupils, the talent of Azali Ketshi stood apart. She was known as the Chaos Witch, but Krelancelo proudly called her his sister. Time to 
go. Let's move. What? You still haven't said where. I didn't even know we had some place to be today. You'll see when we get there. Long trip, huh? You got that right. Wait, rain dust? Oh yeah, that's today. You finally remembered. That's right. Today's the day. It's time to visit their grave sites again. It's all falling apart. A total ghost town. Once the bandits took over, it was inevitable. But that's the way it goes. There's the orphanage. I barely recognize it. Yeah, me too. When we were little, that place was my castle. showed up at the orphanage. It was freezing cold, just like this. You were still a little baby. They had you all wrapped up in a pink blanket, and I'd never heard anyone cry so loud. over you. Sorcerer kids are special, so everybody always gets excited whenever a new one appears. Says the sorcerer kid. I don't know how you remember it that clearly. It was such a long time ago. Honestly, I don't remember very much from back then, but my memory from when you first showed up will always stick out in my mind. Because really, there's no way I'd forget <laughs> the day when I met my adorable little baby brother for the first time. I see. Then what about the day they came to take you and Tish away to the tower? For some reason, I don't remember that nearly as well. Are you saying that you do? Huh? So much, no. Then why bring it up, you little goofball? Next year, it'll be Tish's turn. Ozalie? Where'd you go? Ozalie? Turn to the 
make demands, you can at least tell me who you are first. I would advise you to hurry. <laughs> if you do anything to Ozalie, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. <clears throat> it's still quiet. Are they setting an ambush for me? wasn't strong enough to protect her. Hey, Krilancelo! <gasps> Ozzily! But I... I... I saw... Here. It's time for us to head home. What? Looks like someone's been giving you a hard time. Oh, also, 
I might not have mentioned it before, but the spirits of my ancestors haunt this town. <sighs> yeah, right! And I guess dropping wet rags and buckets on people's heads runs in the family. I'm sure they're all so proud. And now that I think about it, the other day when Comacron's android started moving on its own... <sighs> that must have been you! Huh? What are you talking about? You were mentally projecting yourself with your white sorcery! You always take your jokes way too far! <laughs> oh yeah, I found this on the ground. Mm. Did you? What a strange coincidence. You happened to stumble across my knife. I don't know how you haven't gotten tired of doing things like this. Seriously, you need to grow up. At the very least, you could apologize instead of playing dumb. Do you have any idea how hey, worried... <gasps> I'm happy to know you worry about me. So thanks. Don't try to change the subject! Apologize! Come on, it's getting late. If we don't hurry, we're gonna be sleeping under the stars. Like, that's my fault! You do this every time! Whenever you run out of comebacks, you turn around and walk away! I get it. Don't brush me off! Listen, the next time you find yourself in this situation... Really? You're gonna do it again? Just hear me out. Next time, don't give up the search, no matter what. Come find me. he wanted you to live. No. You're lying. Childman had been trying to kill me himself. Think. Why would he take the risk of coming for you personally? Because he wanted his own body back. You're wrong. He was the one who let you take his body in the first place. He had the power to stop you. But what he really wanted was to save you with his own hands. up the mansion, you offered me a free carriage to take out of Todokanta. That was the tip-off. Impressive. Yeah, no joke. And even if I dumped you in the middle of the road, you'd find a way to sneak back on. Yup. <sighs> Guess I'm babysitting now. Well, you did say that you would teach me sorcery. And then you skipped town without even coming back by the inn, which was really rude. I'm not traveling for fun. But anyway, I cleared all this with my father. Me too. Or I left my mom a letter, at least. Hold on. Now that I think about it, why would you want to come along anyway? Because I really want to see the world, go places I've never been, meet interesting people, and learn everything about everything! <laughs> and I've got a powerful sorcerer as a bodyguard. So that settles that. I never actually agreed to let either one of you come with me. I can pay you by the month. And I'll do the cooking. I'm way better than you'd think. Oh, I didn't know you could cook, Cleo. Wait, you two know each other? <laughs> didn't I tell you? Magic is three years younger, but we're in the same class, and both of us are members of the school soldiers club, too. Back me up, Magic. Yeah, that's all true. And she orders me around a lot. Don't talk about me like I'm the bad guy. Let's see, north is that way, so... I guess that puts us right about here, yeah? Okay, so where are we going now? To Tafram. Tafram, huh? Hey, the Tower of Fangs is in Tafram. But first, we have to pass through Fenrir's forest. Uh, 
and we're going all the way through it? That's right.
Ah, crap. I brought more than enough food to make it to Tafram without stopping. But I didn't think that I'd have two extra mouths to feed. That's why I told you we should have gone around the forest and headed straight for Alan Hottam. That would have been the best place for us to stock up. Oh, yeah. And eating this much canned food can't be good for your health. <sighs> it's not like I want to, but I don't have a lot of options now, do I? There's no way I'm eating those chemistry projects you call cooking. Don't you talk to me that way! Okay, everybody, calm down. You two can relax here while I go find us some food. Cool? Well, don't go too far from camp. I'll be fine. It's not like I'm gonna get lost. I'm not a little kid, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely lost. Master's gonna get me so much hell for this. And whenever I do anything that gets him angry, he always makes me do like 500 squats. Crap! Giant snake! Uh, gather in my command! Kill the vampire! I kinda can't believe that actually worked. That's awesome! You're a sorcerer. Uh, who's there? You were using sorcery, weren't you? Uh, mm -hmm. So who might you be? And what are you doing out here? What about you? Why are you here in the forest? Uh, oh, I'm just... I came here to find some food to bring to my master, that's all. For your master? Yeah. Uh, well, at least he's the guy who's teaching me sorcery. Ah, uh, that means you're still an apprentice. Yeah, so? I'm still in training, but someday I'm going to be an awesome sorcerer, just like my master. Well, hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, you're close. Are you a shrine maiden by chance? How can I explain? I'm one who's controlled by the power of this forest. The power of the forest? You have to go back to your master. You're in grave danger out here. In danger? Then aren't you worried about yourself? As I have said, I am under the control of the power of this forest. But it isn't safe here for you or your master. Sorry, but I don't get it. Anyway, um, what's your name? My name is Vienna. Vienna, huh? It's a very pretty name. You're far too kind. What about yours? Oh, it's magic. Good to meet you. So, Vienna, do you live here? In the forest, I mean. I do, yes. In a little village that's not on the maps. It's called the Sacred Heart. At least, that's the name that we use. Is there really a village nearby? If I bring my master, will they be able to spare a bit of food for us? I'm sorry, but you can't come. It's forbidden to show an outsider the way into the village. Like I said before, you and your master are in terrible danger. Okay, but why? Because your kind aren't welcome <laughs> here. This forest belongs to us. And right now, you're trespassing on our territory. There's a penalty for that, and it's even higher for sorcerers. Wait, are you guys with the Kimluck Church? Is that what you think, child? Huh. Those Kimluck Church fools are useless. Please wait, McDougal. This boy is only an apprentice. His companion is the real sorcerer. She's right. <sighs> and we've got men heading his way now. They're going after Master? Step aside. Anybody who stands in our way must face our punishment, Shrine Maiden or not. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> you had better do what you're told, Fiona. <laughs> it's true, they're here! That guy must be the sorcerer! Hey, Cleo, are you okay? <laughs> Torch make me spill my feet That's too. your problem? We can't have them die. <laughs> Not yet, at least. And they brought weapons, too. This place is dangerous. We've got your friend. Don't make us have to hurt him. Now I'll show you what they taught me in the soldiers' club. Put that thing away! You little brat! <laughs> No. 
enough, Vienna. Come on. Move now, or else we'll be forced to move you ourselves. Excuse me. Do you guys mind if I scream a bit? There's nobody around to answer your call, boy. You can scream your lungs out, but we'll be the only ones to hear. I know, but it'll make me feel better. <gasps> Master, can you hear me? I already paid you, so where are my lessons, you deadbeat? <sighs> Sorry. I just needed to vent for a second, but I'm done. Now's our chance. We should run. No, I can't. You have to go on your own. No, wait. You're coming, too. You won't get away. Think you're smart? Stop wasting my time. He's got a gun. Magic, no! Magic! I draw the trajectory of light! Uh, well, that was a little much. I mean, sure, they had weapons, but still. The giant magical explosion really wasn't necessary, was it? You do know I just saved your life, right? They said they had captured magic. Do you think they were telling the truth? Yeah, I'm betting he got caught. Damn kid, I swear, he's nothing but trouble. We don't have time for all this crap. Okay, so why are you about to go save him? For the cash. <laughs> right. Something wrong? <laughs> no. Huh? Then why'd you stop? Master Solua, the search party we sent out to the sorcerer hasn't come back. He probably wiped them out. <gasps> they could come at any time, so stay alert. Uh, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, Master. Please oh, protect master. us. Oh, oh Master. master. <laughs> oh, crap. We stumbled onto a whole village full of crazy people. Damn. I never thought that we'd get captured in a place like this. It's your fault. You're the one who tried to trick them into thinking that random pot you found was some kind of precious artifact. <laughs> then you had to go and tell them all that there was a sorcerer running around in the forest. What will he do to us when he hears that you ratted him out? Hey, I had no choice but to tell them. That's the only reason they let us do the house chores instead of cleaning out the barn. Hey, janitors. <laughs> There's no use hiding. I know you're in there. <laughs> How's it going, saw you up, buddy? It turns out the info you gave us was good. We tracked down the sorcerer in the forest. I'm honored to have been of service, my friend. But might I ask, what are you going to do to them once you've captured them? <laughs> <laughs> the villagers agreed to let you two live, and they even gave you new jobs. Don't screw it up by asking stupid questions. Uh, understood. And sharpen that knife before you bring it back. Sure! I'll get right on that, sir! <laughs> we'll be janitors forever! Uh, I'm I'm I am gonna take a steel chair to that cocky bastard stall next week! Is that the place? Probably. And from the way they've set up the guard, my guess is they're keeping magic in that big building. I know that emblem. Are you talking about that wolf head on the flag? It's not a wolf head. It's a deep dragon. I get it now. Oh. It makes sense that they'd try to capture us. Uh, makes sense how? Because I'm a sorcerer. These people would consider me their mortal enemy. This village, it's a hidden community of dragon faith worshippers. They really worship dragons? This continent is mainly divided between two religions. The first group worships the three goddesses referred to as the Weird Sisters. They're called the Kimluk Church. And the other group worships the dragons. They're collectively known as the Dragon Faiths. Dragons? Like that one on your pendant? This creature doesn't exist. It was invented to symbolize the power of sorcery. And dragons are the beings who can use that power. Oh, then are you a dragon? 
Come on, you don't call human sorcerers dragons. What are they even teaching you kids in school these days? I hated history class. <sighs> So you're saying dragon worshippers hate sorcerers, but dragons use sorcery? There's a long story behind that. It began in the days before sorcery. That was the age of magic, a power that only the gods could wield. But six beast races were able to adapt that power for their own use. That's the origin of sorcery. And those six races that learned how to use this power later came to be known as dragons. The most intelligent among these races were called the Nornir or Weird Dragons. They're also known as Celestials, but their entire race was female, so they had to mix with the human population to produce heirs. And their descendants are the people we now call sorcerers. Which means that sorcerers like you are half human and half dragon? Basically. But when humans started using sorcery, the Celestials became enraged. They were afraid of letting us share in their power. They said that we had stolen it from them just as they stole magic from the gods. The Celestials convinced the rest of the humans to worship the dragons. They turned these human followers against the sorcerers in an attempt to eliminate them. These were called the Sorcerer Hunts, and they continued until a few centuries ago, when the Celestials vanished from the Earth entirely, except for the immortals known as the Oriors who created sorcery. There are still people practicing the dragon faiths today, as you see, but they're less hostile towards sorcerers now, outwardly at least. In a place this secluded, though, I'm guessing they've hardly ever encountered a sorcerer in the flesh. Just our luck. We stumbled into a place where I'm totally unwelcome. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> what is that? It's like a pillar of light. It's sorcery, without a doubt. But whatever's using it isn't a human. <laughs>
sister's message. Calm your hearts, children. You are safe. Calamity has passed. Offer your prayers. And as to the sorcerer, should he make his heretical presence known again, I shall exterminate him by my own hand. Let us give our prayers to the master who protects us. He has retreated into the forest after driving the heretic away. Prosperity to the heart of this forest! Prosperity to the heart of this forest! Prosperity, is that so? hold sway, and charlatans like you are shunned and kept out of decent people's sight as you should be. Now, what is your name? <laughs> you refuse to say. I'm sure it's just a matter of pride for him. Explain yourself, Salua. That pendant around his neck is the emblem of the Tower of Fangs, the home of Black Sorcery's elite. For such a man to be captured so easily, it would shame him. Believe it or not, he stood no chance. Not against this weapon. I wouldn't be so eager to use that. Have you forgotten your place? Not at all, MacDougall. You're the one in charge of this village. <laughs> MacDougall. And I ask that you not defy MacDougall. It would be simple enough to execute you right here and now. Sadly, the fact is that a sorcerer from the Tower of Thanks intruded on our village. If I kill you, I'll never know why. So I need you to tell me everything before we leave tomorrow. Or else we'll pull out your teeth without anesthesia. <laughs> Prosperity be unto our sad little sorcerer. <laughs> Food for the kid, huh? Yes. Earlier, when you told the villagers that you would exterminate the sorcerer, I heard the trembling in your voice. What? Well... That could be a problem if you're supposed to be a messenger of the divine. It's not too convincing. But I... I was just... <laughs> <laughs> well, good night, Shrine Maiden. You're up. Are you in pain? No, I'm okay. I brought you dinner if you need it. Not right now. I have to admit... When that gunshot hit me, I was pretty sure that would be the end of the road for me. But I was there to heal you. Thank goodness. Did you use sorcery? The forest's power. Well, it was strong enough to save my life. So where is your family? Family? 
I mean, I'm sorry. Do you live in this place by yourself? It's not safe for me to appear in front of others too often. If I did, things could go awry. How so? I'm only a tool, and my purpose is to keep the villagers in line. I make an appearance during our rituals. I deliver the Master's words as they're given to me. And then I perform miracles for the sake of the village. Then was healing my wounds a miracle? That wasn't my duty to the Master. It was a choice that I made myself. Uh, well, your choice is the reason I'm still alive, so thank you for that. Hey, I think I could get some different clothes. <laughs> I'm so glad you're enjoying this. No, I didn't mean to laugh. I'm kidding, it's fine. Vienna, it's almost time to leave. Didn't I tell you earlier? <laughs> then why haven't you gotten ready yet? I was... When you were wandering lost through the forest, trembling and alone in the fog, who saved you? has united us. It's because of your arrival here that I've been able to put this plan into action at last. The forest heard my wish, and in response it brought you straight to me. Your dragon sorcery will grant me what I desire. That power of yours is going to lead us to the heart of this forest. But that's not... I wasn't asking you to share your thoughts. Hey, enough already! Shut up. I'll tell you when you can speak. Magic, please don't. It's okay. He's not gonna shoot me again. I said you need to shut your mouth. I have something to say first. Vienna's a person, and you don't own her. <sighs> Stop this now, Miss Yugo! Find me, girl. Let my life be the only one lost. Foolishness. If you turn against me now, you know what? We'll become the village. <laughs> be ready to leave tomorrow morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry about that. But I'd still like to know where my clothes are. Oh, right. Your wounds are all healed now. It's best if you leave in the morning. We'll both go. I want you to come with me. Thank you, but... I can't. But why not? If you stay here, they're going to drag you into doing something you don't want to, aren't they? Don't worry about me. You're in real danger. I'm not leaving you here! Magic. Not when your face is so full of sadness. It wouldn't be right. Earlier, when I got to see you smile for a moment, that's how it should be. I see now. You're a kind soul. <laughs> I mean, I just, uh... I'm grateful. But please understand, there's no way I can leave this forest. If it's because of McDougal, then don't worry. My master can deal with him. Your master? Yeah, and there's another girl we're traveling with. Her name's Cleo. She's a good kid on the inside. Sorry, there's something that I forgot to mention. How'd you get yourself thrown in jail? Stop screaming. My headache is bad enough already. How can you help us escape if you're lying there paralyzed? I can't believe you let something like this happen! I got hit by a powerful mental attack. It's practically a miracle that I'm alive. What's a mental attack? It's sorcery used by the Deep Dragon. All I did was look in its eyes, and it was over. My mental control training from the tower is what saved me in the end. If not for that, I could have had my mind scarred or been physically and mentally destroyed outright. Instead, I just lost consciousness and my memories. I hope you know this is your fault. Oh, 
yeah, right. You got caught because you messed up and now you're trying to pin your failure on me. I was being nursed back to health after I sustained a terrible injury during my heroic effort to save my new friend Fianna here. While you were messing around and getting captured, she was helping me recover from a gunshot wound to the gut. Help me pay her back, hurry up and heal, and then we can all regroup with Cleo and get the heck out of this dump! Trying to look tough for a girl. How embarrassing. <laughs> no, I'm not. Shut up! That's not what's going on here. It's just that she helped me out, so I... <laughs> You're at that age, right, kid? Uh, I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong! Your name's Fianna, right? Uh, it is. Your healing saved me, so thank you. Huh? Oh, of course. Hold on, you healed him? Yeah, she pulled me back from the brink, and that must have required incredibly strong sorcery. Far beyond human ability. I'm going to use my powers to heal you now, as much as I am able. <laughs> now it all makes sense. The villagers knew to look for a sorcerer in the forest. Because you told them to! Hey, hold on! You're not actually aiming for us, right? Of course not. I don't want to kill you. Not yet. I'm gonna take my time with this. <laughs> Master, not that I don't get it, but you still need to conserve your power. Listen to the kid, Magic Man! What are you idiots doing? Looks like you're recovering well, sorcerer. Good to see. I'm Salua, by the way. And you are? <laughs> Orphan. <laughs> Orphan, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Just an act. I wish it was. <laughs> Impressive. You're not bad, Krilansolo. Idea. We're in Finrir's forest, close to the Dragon Sanctuary. This place is off limits. The royal family and the Kimluck Church warned us. But they captured my friend and my manservant. Come on, guys. We should just report it to the royal family. Let them deal with it. I thought rangers were supposed to be tough, so how'd they let you three slip through? You all can sit here cowering in the forest. I'm going in. <laughs> The successor of the Razor's Edge. That's the inscription on your pendant. And your old nickname, too, right, Curlancelo? You were the first in line to succeed Childman as the most powerful black sorcerer on Kia Salhima. Shut up! The official story was that you had disappeared from the Tower of Fangs five years ago, and yet here you are. I told you to shut up! Well, your way of fighting is certainly crude. That doesn't mean much coming from a guy with a knife in his hand. I thought that you were a former ranger. But I was wrong. That's a glass sword. One of only eight on the whole continent. I see. You're a death instructor. Salua Salude. It's an honor to know that you're familiar with our work. It's a cute name for the brutal team of assassins working for the Kimluck Church. 
When somebody steps out of line, you get sent in to shut them up quickly and quietly. The question is, what are you doing here in the middle of the forest? I could ask the same thing of you, though, Crelancelo. An elite sorcerer from the Tower of Fangs? Why would he show up here? Enough already! <laughs> <laughs> and the winner by knockout is Miss Cleo! Where did you come from? The door right there! I figured I could take him out while you two were glaring at each other. Why are you here? Uh, you said to get the rangers. I'm just doing what you told me. I left them waiting at the edge of the village. What I told you to do was go back to the ranger station and wait for me. Oh, really? Is that right? It must have slipped my mind. <sighs> anyway, what are we gonna do with all these guys that are knocked out? Oh, hey! Magic's here, too! Oh, even the crown dwarf showed up! Sayua and Magic? What happened here? A lot. Don't worry, everybody's still alive. Well? This girl's a shrine maiden. I need you to regroup with the rangers and help them clear a path through the village for us. No way! I know you want to get rid of me again. Why can't you just let me stick around and help you for once? Because you're kind of in the way. <gasps> you big jerk! Uh, excuse me? Uh, understood. I'll go on ahead. Sorcery? Yes. It will wear off by morning. I have a request. Please run. Take Magic and Salua with you. And get out of this village. What about you? I can't join you. My place is here. Hmm. Well, if you insist. But this guy's with the church. I know. <clears throat> I understand that he's a death instructor. I learned that about him when I looked into his heart by accident. But he's also one of the only people in this village who ever spoke to me as a friend. That's why I'd like to make sure he's safe. Poor Magic just can't catch a break. Salua came to kill McDougal. A few years ago, McDougal left his position as an instructor with the Kimlick Church. Then how'd he end up becoming the chief of a hidden village of dragon worshippers? I know little about his history, so I can't answer that. I was brought to this forest to deal with the deep dragon who protects it. There's not much else I can tell you. All I can say is that he's a hero to the people of this village. This weapon is the only thing that will allow you to fight against a sorcerer on equal terms. Firearms have been outlawed by the royal family, but if you wish to defend yourselves against the enemies of the dragons, there's no choice but to build more and learn to use them. Crush the sorcerers. That's how we'll demonstrate our loyalty to the deep dragon. It's not enough. I need an even more powerful weapon. I must travel deep into the heart of this forest. To the Dragon Sanctuary. Okay, but if you go into the heart of the forest, you're gonna die. Yes, I'm aware. The village will most likely be destroyed tomorrow. So please, get away quickly. You're okay knowing that you'll be killed? Perhaps it was always my fate to die here. But I regret nothing. In the end, I met Magic and Saliwa. People who cared for me. Every time, every damn time, I meet some woman who injects a ridiculous drama into my cruel joke of a life! <laughs> Here's a little piece of advice for you. When you're asking for a favor, you really should try to be more persuasive. <laughs> you haven't convinced me. I'm denying your request. But, but why? <laughs> you're just a kid. You can't even break free from my grip. I won't leave you to die.
finally awake, huh? My head. I think that something hit me from behind. No point in worrying about that right now. What? And Fianna healed your wound, so you'll be fine. I see. Now. You're just a kid. You can't even break free from my grip. I won't leave you to die. Hey, my master is here now. It'll all be fine. And I'm right here to protect you too. <laughs> that sorcerer. What are you doing here? I know you want to invade the heart of the forest, and I can't allow that to happen. Salua! What is it that you want? You need to release Fianna. Or what? I want to make a deal. Let her go, and I'll give you the name of the person who came here to kill you. <clears throat> the Kimluck Church sent them. One of their death instructors. You'd sell me out like that, you snake? Of course, there's no way I'd work with the church as a tack dog. Damn you! Guide my path, Death Song Starling! What? I unsheath the Sword of Light! Now let Fianna go. I refuse. Can reaching the heart of the forest really be worth all of this? I have to gain more power. More than even the dragons. I can't let you stand in my way! <laughs> no, don't! Looks like you must have overheated the cylinder when you hit the gun with that attack. And when he pulled the trigger, the whole thing blew apart in his hand. So my job's done. Nice of you to save me the trouble. I guess I'll be taking off then. Oh, and I always appreciate a well-timed betrayal. Till next time, Crelancelo. Yes, ma'am, I completely understand the situation, but we're in Kim Luck Church jurisdiction here. Sorry, but our hands are pretty much tied on this. We should wait back at the station for orders from the royal family. I don't have time for orders or jurisdiction or whatever. Those villagers have <sighs> captured my friends! <laughs> oh, how adorable! I won't hurt you. Come here. It's safe. <laughs> Miss, that thing's a deep dragon baby! It's a deep dragon? This guy here? Wait, if that's the baby, then the big one has to be somewhere close. <sighs> it's not safe, Miss. You need to run. <sighs> uh, hold on, come back! They sure left in a hurry. Is your mommy that scary? <sighs> Master MacDougall is dead? It looks like his gun exploded. Now what are we going to do? Try, Maiden! We need your help! 
You have to show us the way. I've heard enough of this crap. Figure it out by yourselves for once. Learn how to live your own damn lives. That girl can't do it for you, so let her go already. We don't take orders from you, sorcerer! That's right! We're going to the heart of this forest! We'll carry out Master McDougal's wishes! Don't! The sanctuary's way too dangerous! You're gonna get killed! You mean, you know what's at the heart of the forest? Hold on! Capture him! And make him lead us to the sanctuary! out of this forest if things in the village got too crazy. Where's the brat? Magic went after Orphan. That's on him. Now let's go. <laughs> What's wrong? You were crying about being left here all alone. Do you not want to leave anymore? This village shall be punished. You must go without delay. No, I can't leave this place. Why not? Because my heart is telling me that I have to stay. Great, it worked. We're safe now, right, Master? Over there! I see them! Oh, crap! Like I told you, ten meters was all we could hope for. Am I really gonna have to go all out here? I know that sorcery. It was the deep dragon. Oh, oh, dragon! Oh, master! Down here, Orphan! Where'd you come from? It's a war zone here! What's that? Oh, this guy? Apparently it's a baby deep dragon. For conspiring to trespass on the dragon sanctuary, you shall be destroyed. Are their lives worth nothing? 
do now? The Deep Dragon is able to read our thoughts. And our plans, too. We're in trouble. Leave this village now! If you stop attacking, we'll let this little one go free! Your bravado will do you no good, sorcerer. Yeah? Your child is here in my hand! Do you still think I'm bluffing? You may do as you will. But why? It matters not. Our sorcery can revive the dead. The village shall be destroyed regardless. You can't! The people of this village worship you as their god! I am well aware, for my familiar has lived among them as a shrine maiden. Vienna. As the guardians of the sanctuary, we needed to keep a close watch on the one named MacDougal. He sought to encroach on our sacred ground, an unforgivable transgression. To that end, I revived a young girl who died in the forest, and sent her to serve as my eyes and ears. MacDougal's plan failed. He's dead now. And yet the villagers have elected to persist in carrying on with his sacrilegious endeavor. They debase themselves. Worthless creatures. Worthless? What right does a killer like you have to decide what a life is worth? I'm your opponent right now. If you want to hurt any more of these people, you're going to have to kill me first. I fired before made the cylinder heat up. Then I threw it into the air. Hitting it with the flame caused the other barrels to fire. The fact that they actually hit the target was a lucky break. <laughs> Indeed. But it seems your luck was still not sufficient to kill me. And even with what little of my power yet remains, I could certainly destroy you. I 
name is Crelancelo. There's no living thing I can't kill. Childman told me so himself. Leave, or this place will be your grave. Get back! I told you before to leave this village. Why did you come back? I'm here because I have been called to be. As you're familiar, I can share all of your senses. And with those, I'm able to use sorcery equal to yours. I can't overcome your power, but I can nullify it. You know that your body and mind would be annihilated if you did that. I have been nothing to these people. It's true. I'm a shrine maiden in name only. But even so, I cannot allow them to die. I'll protect them if it kills me. It would seem that I erred in taking you for my familiar. You are of no use to me anymore. Diana! <laughs> Fools. You failed to grasp the significance of invading the sanctuary. Are you trying to say these people's ignorance gives you the right to slaughter them? Indeed. You gotta be kidding! The nerve! You're willing to let your own child get killed! Where did you get off lecturing anybody? All right, get him! <sighs> Primary goal. 
Nothing will stop me from completing my mission. Even if I have to drown this city in blood, I won't rest until the deed is done. Did you hear another elder was murdered? That brings the numbers slain to five. Council, elders are being hunted down. Soon enough, there won't be any of us left. It is your responsibility to track this madman down. You have to find him and bring him to justice. This is the biggest crisis we've faced since the tower's creation. Surely they have some overarching agenda. Do whatever it takes to stop this murderer. Turn Tafram upside down if you have to. This wouldn't have happened if Master hadn't insisted on going through with that mission. <laughs> Forte, is this report completely accurate? Is Ozali really dead? There are more pressing matters that must be dealt with first. A fifth elder was cut down in the street. I've been tasked with finding the culprit. Another elder killed? So that's what all the buzz has been about. This assassin must be extremely capable. Luckily, we were able to catch a glimpse of the killer through my network. It's a slim young man with black hair. He's likely a sorcerer from the tower. Furthermore, Hartia uncovered something that might be linked to this case. What did he find out? Before leaving Todokanta, Master met with Krelancelo. Uh. No one has seen or heard from Master since that meeting. And at this point, I can only assume the worst. Krelancelo, what's happened to you? Killing the elders could be his way of exacting revenge on the tower. If that's the case... It's our duty to stop him. We must get to him before anyone else. We must remove this stain on Childman's honor. Forte, you can't be serious! You need to wake up. He's not the boy that you once knew. What did he say again? Well, I said that you could maybe try making some human food for once. Hmm. Oh, yeah? Uh, not again. Magic, jeez. When are you going to learn to shut up? <laughs> Let me get this straight. The three of you were on your way to Tafram and stopped for lunch. He made fun of her cooking, so she blew up part of the forest. That the gist of it? Yes, that's right. According to the law, I would have to report this and hand you all over to the church. But I won't this time. Thank you, sir. If the church found out you were a sorcerer, you'd get beaten to death. And that's if you were lucky. Sounds about right. Fortunately for you, I owe the Tower of Fangs a favor. Let's both pretend that I didn't see or hear anything so I won't have to fill out all this paperwork. <laughs> Just hurry back to the Tower of Fangs and don't get into any more trouble. Where is it? Hey! Hey, mister! What happened? I didn't sense anything. How could he have been murdered right under my nose? It must have been an assassin. But why target him? Huh. Who is the successor? Who 
Who is the successor? Orphan's been awfully quiet. Yeah, I wonder what's bothering him. I asked earlier, but he wouldn't say. <gasps> Look out! You can't even help yourselves! <gasps> Over there! High and sheep feet! Come now! Sword of Light! I did it! High and sheep feet! Come now! Sword of Light! <laughs> Good thing Lucky's here to pick up your slack. So it was you. I heard rumors that a human stole a young deep dragon from the forest. I'm surprised you pulled it off. And look who's up. You're okay! Thank goodness! I was scared you died! I'm not ready to kick the bucket just yet. And I'm guessing that you're the bastard that ambushed me, right? That was just a greeting. I didn't expect you to be so weak. You got lucky, you punk. So, you're not convinced. I dance within the <laughs> heavenly castle! He teleported? I get why you're so surprised, but you shouldn't let your guard down! I strike at thee! Spill forth glass hail! Orphan! Magic! It's nothing major, we'll be fine. I always heard the deep dragons were powerful, but I didn't think it could negate my attack entirely. Listen, Cleo. Hmm? You need to make sure that Lecky focuses on blocking his sorcery. Master, what's going on? I hate to admit it, but the little furball is the only one powerful enough to stop him. Nobody else has a chance. Wait! <laughs> what are you talking about? You heard me. That brat's the real deal. His sorcery is even stronger than mine. Relying on a dragon, how pathetic. That teleportation sorcery. It was something Childman came up with. It needs a special formation to work. How are you using it? Who are you? You're supposed to be one of the tower's best. Honestly, I don't see it. You show a real lack of mastery. <laughs> are you truly the successor of the Razor's Edge? What? It was you. You're the one who murdered that officer. Obviously. I'm to return you to who you were, by any means necessary. If you're only after me, then leave the others out of it! Why don't you just give up? You're fighting a battle we both know you'll never win. some noble family. And this one is magic. I'm teaching him sorcery. Fuzzball over there is her pet. We picked it up on our way from Todokanta. He's lucky. Yeah, anyway, this is Tish. She's from the tower. She and I go way back. Though I have to say, 
You've changed a lot over the past five years. You've grown up, Curlancelo. The name's Orphan. So, this is where you came from? It's huge! Yeah. If you made a list of the biggest cities on the continent, Tafram would probably be in the top five. Stop for inspection! My name is Letitia McCready. I'm from the Tower of Fangs. These people are my guests. I'm investigating the current situation. Yes, ma'am. Please continue. What's with all the extra security? Recently, there's been a rash of murders in Tafram. A serial killer? Yes. Who could do something so horrible? We can't be sure. But they've been targeting the tower's elders. But why go after them? Because those old geezers are the ones in charge over there. They run almost everything. Well, if the murders are happening in Tafram, why would they ever leave the Tower of Fangs? It seems like it'd be safer inside. Almost all the elders live in the city, and having a house is a status symbol. But with a killer on the loose, I bet they are holed up in the tower. We're actually just about to pass by our master's house. See? Childman's Manor. There hasn't been any new information. Five elders assassinated within two weeks. It'll only be a matter of time until the rest of us are wiped out. What if the Kimlock Church is behind all of this? <gasps> Forte's network has been trying to catch the one who's been killing the elders. He's trying to set up something similar to what Childman did? Yeah. Master's network allowed him to see any event that happened on the continent in real time. Forte's network isn't as sophisticated. It only tracks near the tower, but it's still useful. Has he had any luck in finding out who the killer is? He couldn't get a clear look at his face, but was able to get a general description. You matched that description, so Forte was almost certain it was you. Hartia, it looks like Krilancelo has already arrived in Tafram. And we still haven't heard from Master. Were you able to find any evidence? Not yet. I haven't found anything concrete, but it seems unlikely that Master's still alive. If he's dead, the only ones who could have killed him were Ozily or Kralancelo. But he had already taken care of Ozily. Master disappeared after meeting with Kralancelo. I refuse to believe this is a coincidence. Nice place. It seems like what you've wanted ever since we were little. A home of your own. You're half right, but it's not like I dreamt about owning some building. I wanted to have a family one day, not just a house. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but do you not have a family? Sorry, I know that's way too personal. <laughs> it's no problem. I don't. Most of the sorcerers at the Tower of Fangs don't have families either. Is that true? The Tower recruits most of their students from the nearby orphanages. I've told you I didn't have a family, remember? But you're not exactly what I'd consider the norm. What was that, you punk? Oh, uh, nothing at all. The Tower of Fang's training is particularly dangerous, and every year the student mortality rate is incredibly high. No sane parent would ever send their child to a place like that. Oh, you cat! Say hello to Nora. Tish has been watching her for me. She's yours? Well, duh! I missed you so much, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you, too. Most of these rooms are already occupied by my students. But this one should be free. Should be? It looks like you just robbed a museum. Well, it's this or camping outside. Aw, look at you! You're missing a tooth! I think I was seven when that was taken. Seven seems kind of late to start losing your baby teeth, don't you think? I don't remember it all too well, but I'm pretty sure I lost it during combat training. Combat? It wasn't really combat training. We just worked on the basics. They would tie up both of our hands and then beat us with sticks over and over again. That sounds more like torture to me. It's designed to test your willpower. Do all black sorcerers have to go through that same kind of hardcore training at such a young age? Definitely not. The Tower of Fangs is pretty unique. 
Hey, Orphan. How come Tisha's album has so many pictures of you in it? You're everywhere. Huh? Because, well, she's the closest thing to family I have left. We're from the same orphanage. The three of us have been together ever since I can remember. The three of you? Me, Tish, and Ozzy. Both of them took care of me at the orphanage. We were as close as real siblings. And when we were all sent to the Tower of Fangs, I was afraid they would split us up. But we somehow landed in the same class together. Orphan, you were such a cute little baby. I can't believe that cute child grew up to be Is you. Is it really so hard to imagine me as a regular kid? I guess I thought you'd be a short version of how you are now. Seriously? <sighs> You're leaving at sundown? I'm heading over to the tower to tell Forte that you're innocent. Otherwise, who knows what kind of plan he'll cook up to try and catch you. Why not just wait till tomorrow? The sooner we can get them to clear your name, the better. That way you don't have to hide like some sort of fugitive. <laughs> I'm so glad that you've come back. <laughs> Sorry, Tish. I can't stay. What is with you two? Both you and Forte? Why do men insist on being so damn stubborn? Ugh. <sighs> I have to tell Tish about what happened with Ozzie and Childman. I can't keep hiding it. She deserves to know the truth. Because he wanted you to live. No, you're lying. Childman had been trying to kill me himself. Think, why would he take the risk of coming for you personally? Because he wanted his own body back. You're wrong. He was the one who let you take his body in the first place. He had the power to stop you. But what he really wanted was to save you with his own hands. That... I wanted to show him that I was the woman worthy of him. Tish will probably cry. No, she'll go mad with rage. Allow yourself to wallow in negative emotion. That's something Master would have said. Even from the grave, he's still giving lessons. The old man sure was something else. I might just stay, and maybe one day I'll get a house like this, too. Going back won't be as easy as you think. In order to return to the Tower of Fangs, you'd need to prove to them that you're still worth taking in. But you're just a shadow of your past self. You think the elders will give you another chance after they find out you're a second-rate has-been? <laughs> and even if you hadn't lost your powers, no one's forgotten how you turned your back on the tower five years ago. No matter what you do or how hard you try, they'll never truly accept you because you haven't fully cleansed yourself from the lingering stain of betrayal. Who the hell are you? Who, you ask? I'm someone who takes the lives of others. So Crelancelo is a murderer, is that what you mean? Exactly. It should have been obvious. I'm done playing games. Tell me who you are. I'm you. That's enough. Stop pretending to be some sort of ghost from my past. Why? You've thrown away Crelancelo. So I'll take it, and you can just keep being orphaned. So, anything to report? Did you encounter our killer? The assassin is Curlancelo, but at the same time, he's not. What does that mean? There were two of him. The first looked no different from the day he left. The second I brought back. He looked about five years older. Go ahead, he's all yours. So he has a doppelganger. Is that what you're telling me? I don't know who he really is, or why he would disguise himself as Curlancelo from back then. And how do you see us faring against this assassin in a fight? 
No one in the tower would be a match for him. He's just as powerful as our master expected Kralancelo to become. The successor of the Razor's Edge. Now tell me who in the hell you are. Like I said, I'm Krilancelo. I'm the person who Master Childman dubbed successor of the Razor's Edge and the only one who he personally trained in the secret arts of assassination. There's no way you're who you say you are. I never killed people. And the same was true five years ago. I told you that I'm Krilancelo. I didn't say we were the same. Then you shouldn't be calling yourself by my old name and wearing my face. Did they do you any good? You're a failure who betrayed every expectation placed on you. You couldn't be the successor of the Razor's Edge. Just a coward afraid to kill. So you left and abandoned your name. I took it and became what you couldn't. I am the only Krilancelo now. I'm your potential realized. I exist to carry out the will of one person. Who is that? Who do you think? It's the only person who matters. You know who that is. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we'll see ya. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Letitia. She left for the tower and hasn't come back. And Master turned down breakfast and walked out the door. I have so many questions for him about the tower. And a lot more. Like, who's this Krolancelo that Letitia was talking about? I'm going out for a bit. Where to? To look for somebody. There's obviously something bothering Orphan. And I'm his trusty sidekick, so that means it's my job to figure out what it is. Five years ago, I left the Tower of Fangs to search for Ozalie. <laughs> physical in nature, white sorcery works on the target's mind. Take this to heart. There's only one true defense against the power of white sorcery, and that is to fortify your will until it can't be moved by anyone else. Welcome back, Master. Hey, kids. <laughs> How are you? Pat, give her the thing. I'd like you to meet my friend Curly. Hey, look, he's from the tower. That's right. He and I trained in the same class together. He was in the Childman class? And now these two are training under me. This is Tiffis and his little sister, Patricia. They're still early in their training. I've been letting them stay at my house. So you ended up an instructor. My name is Orphan. It's nice to meet you. Orphan? Wait a sec. 
I heard those two dwarves talking about an orphan, but they're not sorcerers like you, are they? Did you say dwarves? Yeah, apparently they saw you show up here and decided to come in after you. And then they were all like, we're super hungry and you gotta feed us! They seemed pretty sketchy, so we locked them up at the shed just in case. That was a good call. Is this how people treat their guests in tap room? Not exactly like we were invited, eh? Open up, damn it! Let us out! Open this door, I'm gonna knock it down and ram it up! It's the loan shark! We went through hell because of you! Please help us get out of here! You owe us that, at least! You scumbags! You dropped my name to get a free meal out of some kids? <laughs> but sure, I'll get you two out of here if you'll do something for me. Like a trade? He's gonna put us to work. What a cute gift. It reminds me of the one I got before. I do like angels, but I don't think I've ever told anybody here. What's more, I have no idea who gave me this. Hey, Tish! Two days till your birthday, right? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna celebrate with Ozalie and me like usual? No, Ozalie is off on an errand. She had to go to the royal capital. She won't be getting back to the tower till next week. She's basically Master's secretary. Huh? What's that? Huh? Oh, the brooch? Somebody left it for me in my mailbox yesterday. I guess it must be for my birthday. Don't you remember our promise? The one that Ozalie came up with? We all agreed that if any one of us was going to spend our birthday with anybody else, we would never keep it a secret from the others. Ah. Uh, mm -mm. No, I haven't made any other plans. Whoever gave this to me didn't even put their name on it. But I wore it anyway because it's cute. Hmm. You're being awfully suspicious. No, seriously, there's nothing going on. Hartia, his natural instincts for battle are excellent, but fail him when it counts. He's friends with Crelancelo, but they're on different levels. Comicrone, an expert at healing sorcery, knows the human body better than anyone. That's about it. He can't touch his classmate Corgan. Forte. He has access to all kinds of information through the Childman Network. More knowledgeable and connected than most of us. But in terms of sorcery, he's no match for me or Ozalie. What's this about? It's training. She's showing us where we have room to improve, I guess. Is this all you two could manage? Well, it shouldn't come as a surprise when you're up against the best hand-to-hand -hand fighter we have. It started as a three-on-one. But she slammed me into the wall and took me out right off the bat. Was there something you needed? Or maybe you want to go around. It's been a long time and it couldn't hurt to get your body moving and shake the rust off once in a while, don't you think? A generous offer, but it could actually hurt quite a bit and I'd rather leave with my ego intact. Master! <laughs> Remember, training at my house this afternoon, Krilancelo. Uh, yes sir. He's the only person Master ever invites to train in his mansion. Well, he is the successor of the Razor's Edge. Crelancelo. He's strong, fast, and precise with his movements. But he's too naive to be a great fighter. So why would Master saddle him with such an important title? Your moods are as unpredictable as mountain weather. And what does that mean? I just can't help but notice something's been bothering you all of a sudden. How many times do I have to tell you not to read other people's minds? I thought you were so cute the way you used to be. <clears throat> How can you not cringe when you hear yourself say that? Listen, my answer hasn't changed. It's not gonna happen. But my feelings for you haven't changed either. <sighs> That's enough. The issue here is Crelancelo. Ozalie's training has made him soft. Couldn't you tell he was completely off his game when we were sparring? You think so? I know you won't like this, but it's important you hear it. Hear what? 
He let you smack him around in training because if he fought back in earnest, he would be dead. Huh? That's how it's always been. If he really wanted to, he could crush you before you knew what hit you. Uh. And he knows you couldn't touch him at his full potential. So he holds back. He's protecting you. And that's the truth. So why are we out here? I feel like we've done enough sparring. Give me all you've got. Beg your pardon? I said come at me like you want to kill me. What's going on, Tish? You're acting weird. Am I? Maybe the angels talked me into it. <laughs> to miss now that he pointed it out to me. <laughs> Hard to miss? You're moving just enough to keep your vital points out of my reach. <laughs> Which means that Forte was telling me the truth earlier. Back on your feet. What are you saying? You can dodge as much as you want, but I'm gonna keep coming at you until one of us lands a clean hit. <sighs> Don't do this! If you want to end this battle right now, then you need to show me your full power! When he's forced into a real fight, it's obvious why he's called the successor of the Razor's Edge. Tish, I had a question for you. That brooch. Yeah. Oh, what's this say? To everyone's guardian angel. I think Comicron wrote this. Huh? He did? I never knew. Everyone had their eyes on you, Tish. on the other Curlancelo's motives? It seems like most of the tower is out of commission. Besides the Childman class, no one seems to be in fighting shape. True. And now we're down to Forte and me. Fomicron died in an accident two months ago. <laughs> Hartia's in Todokanta for work. Corgan's a total mystery, same as always. And Ozzy. But the real issue is Master Childman disappeared. It's been two months since anyone heard a word from him. Stop the coach! Order has broken down since he left. There's been a ton of infighting between the classes. He left a void at the top and everybody rushed in to fill it. Someone even slipped poison into Forte's teacup. They didn't get him, but he chose not to report it. He wanted to handle it himself. He thought that it would help him get things under control. That's how Master would have done it. Then it seems the other Krilancelo showed up and started killing off elders in order to clear a path for the person who would become Master's successor. They've been able to evade the Childman network, and they're still hitting their targets. There are only two people who could do that. It's either Childman or me. <sighs> well, which is it? You're saying that either my kid brother or my master is trying to kill the elders? The reason your kid brother left in the first place was that he wasn't capable of killing. That fact hasn't changed. You can't mean it's master. No, it couldn't be. He's never coming back here. You know something, don't you? Man, this is a good club sandwich. Stop snagging and start searching, dwarf. Hey, you first, jerk! It's a drop. 
Dragon Faith Group. Guess this town has some too. now after everything you just said. Five years ago, I lost the only family I had ever known. But I waited here and did everything I could to give you a home to come back to. When Forte told me the Childman Network had spotted Carlancelo approaching, I was sure you'd come to take revenge for Ozalie. But when I went to stop you and take you into custody, I realized that something was going on. I saw Carlancelo five years older, fighting another Carlancelo who hadn't aged at all. Too bad. We were just about to get to the fun part, but I won't fight both of you. Kerlancelo is under my custody. <laughs> Go ahead, he's all yours. I had no idea what to believe. Which was the real you? Had you become a killer? You would never do that, right? The other me you saw. That's the guy I would have been if I had stayed at the tower. That Kerlancelo was the one Childman had always wanted me to be. The one people would call the successor of the Razor's Edge. Hey, Master! <gasps> Somebody just kidnapped Cleo! Say what? We didn't have a chance to react! The assassin came out of nowhere! <laughs> what the hell were you doing? You told us to go find the assassin and we did, you hothead! Then we saw him carry her off into that Kidman guy's huge mansion! What Kidman guy? Wait, do you mean Childman? Who is this assassin anyway, and why does he look like Master? Five years ago, he was one of the top sorcerers at the Tower of Fangs. Kralancelo was on track to join the Thirteen Apostles. Wow, he was good enough for the court to take notice of him? That's right. They called him the successor of the Razor's Edge because Master Childman was grooming him to take his place at the Tower. He must have been an incredibly powerful sorcerer then. He was, but then he left and became the man who you know is Orphan. What? Okay, I'm lost. The assassin is a stronger Kralancelo. The one who stayed at the tower. What's worse, Orphan's sorcery has gotten much weaker. Now he's trying to lure me into the open. <sighs> let me help you, Master! If you go with him, you'll only get in his way. Well, I can't let him go by himself. This is my duty as a student. I owe it to him to at least... Don't be stupid. If this guy's as strong as you say he is, can Master really take him on alone? Orphan? Definitely not. Then that settles it. He needs backup, so I'm going with him. That's enough out of both of you! There's no time for this. I'm going now. And I'm coming too. We're gonna be fighting the assassin, aren't we? We called them stabbers. Sorcerers who underwent special training at the Tower of Fangs to become silent killers. You don't think... he wouldn't have killed Cleo, would he? No. I'm sure she's still alive. After all, he needs her for leverage. I'm the one he wants dead. He's trying to use her to bait me into coming after him. And if he killed her now, I'd have no reason to play along. That makes sense. But do you have any idea what his ultimate goal might be? And why is it that he would suddenly show up now? Good questions. Well... A lot of big things have been happening lately. Right before this guy showed up. Tish still hasn't found the life she wanted, and I'm not sure if my life is my own. I don't understand. I know there's an assassin with the same face as me, but it could be that I'm really the imposter. The other one might be the true Krilancelo, and I'm just a cheap imitation. <sighs> I'm gonna bring Cleo back. I'll settle things with my other self and put an end to the side of me that you didn't know. Magic. That was it, right? I guess that guy went off to fight on his own. That guy? You mean my master? Yeah. He's got some reputation around here. You know that? And what is that supposed to mean? I'm not trying to tell you how to feel about him. But there's some stuff in his past that you might not know. When he left, someone from the tower followed him, right? 
and Carlancelo nearly killed the guy and left him for dead in the road. He did that? Mm -hmm. The Thirteen Apostles were looking to recruit him. He was on track to become the youngest court sorcerer in history. But then, in the end, things took a different path. The Tower of Fangs had been losing all of its most powerful sorcerers to the Thirteen Apostles, and the tower's standing was starting to decline. That's when the Elders recruited a sorcerer named Childman, a prodigy who showed up out of nowhere. His job was to seek out children with high potential, take them in, and train them into a team of powerful black sorcerers. And my master was one of those children? Yeah, you guessed it. People referred to those kids as the Childman class, and they were known as some of the best sorcerers at the tower. But Crelancelo's abilities stood out among the class. They called him the successor of the Razor's Edge. And there is a reason for that. His nickname refers to the fighting skills and assassination techniques Childman passed on to him. With his natural abilities and the secret knowledge he'd learned, the Tower Elders wanted to keep him for their own. I have a theory about what happened after that. I think Crelancelo was trying to join the Thirteen Apostles. The guy who followed him was likely sent by the Elders. They met on the road to the capital. And then... Crelancelo left him in the road to die. And because of that, the Apostles refused to take him. My guess is he looked at his situation after that and decided he should cut all ties with the tower. Once he attacked the messenger, the bridge was already burned. No, that couldn't be! Master's not like that! Oh. Flip's old place, huh? I guess it's still around. Actually, I don't think I ever walked through the streets of Tafram on my own. I always had somebody with me. They all expected great things from me when I was 15, but there was one hurdle I couldn't get over. I was afraid to take a life. There will be times when you're forced to go head to head with an opponent who's more powerful than you are. When you do, trying to match your strength to theirs will only get you killed faster. You must match your strength to their weakness in order to prevail. Find a flaw in their defense and attack it without mercy or hesitation. You can mitigate a massive difference in power with a single point of weakness. I'm not sure any of us could have lived up to the expectations you put on us. But it seems like this other Quilancelo pulled it off. He's the sorcerer you hoped I could be. The truth is, I'm about to be fighting a better version of myself. There are no weaknesses to exploit. All my flaws are coming back to haunt me now, because my opponent knows every one of them. He's corrected them in himself and improved on all my strengths. It's the me you hoped for versus the me who failed you. Right, Childman? Where are you going? Wait, Master! So, you're following that guy into a fight with the Assassin? Is it really worth being involved with someone that dangerous? That guy is my little brother, Crelancelo, and he's a great sorcerer whom you ought to respect. <laughs> Even if he's no longer as great as he was. I'll trust in your judgment, Master. Let's go. Uh, right. Now I unsheath thee, sword of light! Not much point in holding back now, is there? I scale thee! Heavenly snowy mountain! Sorry to be rude, but I don't intend to let this affair drag on too long. He's here. Must have known I would come in this way. That's right. It's not that hard. I know how you think, so I'll know where you go, and I can always reach you in an instant. You haven't heard Cleo, right? She's safe, but she isn't going to be leaving this place with you. And neither is that deep dragon. Well, you're certainly confident. Yes. And I'm betting you've figured out who I am by now, haven't you? Orphan. Or maybe old Crelancelo. <laughs> Gotta keep dodging till I find his weakness. I am she the sword of life! <laughs> Guide my path, death song starling! <laughs> I crush thee, primordial silence! That last 
shot should have been enough to blow most of the roof off this place. You put some power into that attack. If it had hit cleanly, you might have won. Damn, I didn't even leave a mark. You might think about aiming directly at me instead of blasting away chunks of the building. That is, if you want to win the fight. But wait, you're still scared to take a life, aren't you? You're not gonna beat me unless you kill me. We'll see. I'll tell you this. I want you to hear it before you die. Cause it's the only reason I'd bother fighting you to begin with. Ozalie. <gasps> She's the one who's been giving you orders, isn't she? It's true she wanted me to fight you. She still thinks she needs you back. And facing me might force you to overcome your weakness and start acting like the sorcerer you could have been if you never left the tower. That may be, but I have my own reason to fight you and it won't end how she wants. I'm not gonna give you the chance to go back to your old self. If you did, you would only end up hurting her again. Besides, she has something better because she has me! <laughs> I call upon these tiny spirits! Two Krillancelos is more than this world needs. I am Chief Thief! Embrace my surroundings! Go, Sword of Light! What? I was trying to stay out of reach so that I wouldn't have to fight an assassin head to head on a level playing field. You failed! And that's what happens when you get cocky and drop your guard. You can use sorcery to close that wound, but you've still got no way to put your blood back in your body. True enough. I repair these scars of the sunset. you came prepared. Did you really think I was just gonna wing it? But you don't want to go head to head, right? Is this what you meant by that? I couldn't take you in a fair fight, so I've been coming up with dirty tricks. I have three of them for you. That was the first. Too bad, it'll only work once. Not a problem. Like I said, there's two more. Check this out. <laughs> Fight with a concussion. Sleep tight, Crelancelo. Sorry to tell you, but you won't put me to bed that easily. The disturbance was reported 30 minutes ago. Looks like the place has gone quiet. Not sure if we should charge. Is there something troubling you, Captain? You here too? A pair of powerful sorcerers is battling in there. I'm asking you to leave this to me. Then we'll trust you to handle the situation. Time to break in. I was right. You've become a great man. <laughs> Azali! You've been keeping an eye on me all along. White sorcerers are able to use mental projection techniques to conduct long-distance surveillance. She's too attached, and that makes you a danger to her. You may not believe, but as rusty as you've gotten, you're still the successor of the Razor's Edge. I'm sure that you recognize where you are. Yeah. Are those runes? Ancient sorcery. Childman was the greatest scholar in the field, and he left all his knowledge to her. But I'm guessing you never knew anything about that. Nornir's legacy. Yes, exactly. And you may be surprised to learn that their legacy also includes the knowledge of the Nornir's most powerful weapons known as the Killing Dolls. I've heard of them before. They're powerful anti-sorcerer weapons. Humanoid figures whose bodies are engraved with Nornir runes. Completing the runes brings the dolls to life, and they use silent sorcery. She was keeping watch over you for a long time, exactly as you thought. And then she took control of me to test you. <laughs> the Sword of Baldanders. 
locked in this sword to transform me into her ideal assassin. You. Thanks to that, I have all of your sorcery techniques at my disposal. Or at least the ones you had when she knew you. <laughs> Paralyzing sorcery? I don't have any reason to kill this girl, even if you plan on abandoning her and running off on your own. But it might still be fun to cut her with this sword, don't you think? Would she cry if she woke up and suddenly found out that she'd been turned into a frog or a snake? I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do this, but I guess it's time for trick number three. <laughs> it looks like in the end you're gonna get what you wanted, Childman. <laughs> strike was just the setup. I don't fight clean when my life's on the line. Here's the real trick. I've got no problem killing someone to keep that tomboy safe. Even after you lost all that blood, you didn't slow down a bit. I knew something had to be up, but I wouldn't have guessed that you were a doll. <laughs> be careful. This is it. I can't be the one who screws it all up. You know what a pain you can be. Your last dirty trick was more straightforward than I expected. <clears throat> but you failed. Now your only option is to pit your strength against mine and fight me on even terms. That's the way you think this is gonna go? I know it is. And I know I'm gonna win, too. I have to, for her. How many times am I gonna hear that? So is everything you do for Ozalie? Yes, of course. She's my reason for being and what I live for. I was brought into this world to be her weapon. Now you've really got me pissed off. I'm sick of your crap. Let's go. I unsheath thee. Sword of light. I construct the fire of the sun. This is nothing. Even the full force of the deep dragon sorcery is useless against the body of a killing doll. <laughs> Guide my path, Death Song Starling! <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Crelancelo. Crelancelo. Get out of my head! I won't let you take control! 
I guess it really doesn't work. Bosley, tell me why you murdered the elders. Was it spite? Why did the ranger have to die? And why would you drag Cleo into it? I never expected that doll to start acting outside of the orders that I'd given it. I don't know how, but it seems the thing developed a will of its own. A will? It hardly matters now. I have more important things to do. What are you saying? Oh, chaos. It wouldn't do to make a murderer of my little brother, would it? That big sister act isn't gonna be nearly enough for me to forgive what you've done. Come on now, don't make that face. I only did it because I was afraid. Of what? Isn't it obvious? I was afraid that you would be coming for my life. You're saying you're scared of me? You, the most powerful of all Childman students? The Chaos Witch herself? Ah, then I guess you're in luck. I'm too weak to defend myself from you right now. Go ahead. No, Crelancelo. I will never be able to kill you. Because you are the only true successor of the Razor's Edge. Do you remember when you left for the Royal Capital? After you attacked the Elder's messenger in a rage, that's when I realized my suspicions were correct. Suspicions? I was just mad that he tried to stop me, and he said something that pissed me off. Ozily, that was nothing more than an angry kid lashing out at the world. Even Childman himself would have told you that it didn't mean anything at all. I want you to stop for a minute and think about all of the mental control training he put you through. Right here in this basement. You and you alone. We were all part of the Childman class, but he never singled anyone else out for mental control training. And why not? It was because Master had a very specific role in mind for you. That's enough, Ozzily! His goal was to train you into a powerful weapon built solely to neutralize white sorcerers. I was the only student who could have ever surpassed him, and you were his insurance policy in case I ever turned on him. You know it's true. When you learned mental control techniques and trained in the art of killing, he was forging a dagger to drive into my back. No, I don't believe it! I know Master would never use his students like that. And even if that was his plan, I'm not cut out to be an assassin. I always loved you, always looked up to you. You're the one who was always there to show me the way forward. And all I want... <laughs> Ozily, I swear. All I want is to give you a place where you can live in peace. Please believe me. But you can't. Please, sis. Well, isn't that nostalgic? When was the last time you addressed me as your sister? That's what you are. And Tish was waiting for you, too. We can still be a family. You're not in this alone. It's too late. I can't put my plan on hold. What plan? Master Childman was working towards some grand scheme, and I'm going to find out what it was. Please, stay by my side, Crelancelo. You're the only assassin in this world who could ever truly threaten my life. And I'm the only person in this world who can understand the hell you've been through and lift you up when you start to buckle under that burden. But I can't. I'm sure that we'll meet again soon. You can give me your answer when we do. <laughs> But if you intend to make a promise to a woman, then you'd better be able to prove to her that your words are worth hearing in the first place. You understand? <laughs> well then, I should leave before she wakes up and you have to explain all this. I'd love to pay Tish a visit, but for now she needs to think I'm dead. At least until I've arrived. <laughs> I'm going to Kimluck. Wait!
was pretty intense, Master. At least 20 laps around the room before I lost count. Did Cleo just pull a hit and run on my taste buds? Face me, you coward! <sighs> but I used my best recipe. Packed with nutrients to promote healing. My one-shot, one-kill stew. I must have messed it up somehow. Where could I have gone wrong this time? Uh, hey! Sounds like you screwed something up too, huh? Oh. <sighs> Indeed. A lot of things. Well, that's a relief. The way my life has been going, sometimes it feels like I'm the only person in the world who ever makes mistakes. <laughs> Wanna hear something my master used to say to me? The difference between a single success and a single failure doesn't amount to much. All that matters is what you make of the outcome. Right now, I'm looking back on one of my past failures and hoping I can turn it around. Thinking back, Dad once told me the same thing. There's only one thing I want from you. The location of the Browning Family World Transcript. I don't know. I heard it was lent out a few years ago. Lent to whom? They said it went to Childman. about the meatloaf. Who was that guy before? He's a stabber. Huh? Again? A real one this time, sent by the tower. Why do so many people want to kill you? Seriously, what do you do? That is none of your business. <laughs> Keep it down, you two. All I'm asking for is a peaceful night's sleep in my own bed. After cleaning up your messes for 38 consecutive hours. Uh, sorry. You want to go to the tower? That's why Magic's here. He wants to enroll. But is this the time? I already took care of the guy killing the elders. That's hard to verify without a body. The body burned up. My double was a killing doll. I've heard of them before. They're powerful anti-sorcerer weapons. Humanoid figures whose bodies are engraved with no near runes. Completing the runes brings the dolls to life, and they use silent sorcery. She watched. She kept an eye on you for a long time, just as you thought. And then she took control of me to test you. If that's true, who was the one who found and activated them? Uh... Ozzily, tell me why you murdered the elders. Was it out of spite? Why did the ranger have to die? And why would you drag Cleo into it? I never expected that doll to start acting outside of the orders that I'd given it. I don't know how, but it seems the thing developed a will of its own. Sorry, but I don't know. If you're going to lie, couldn't you make it more convincing? In any case, 
Here, mind reading this? Mm. Crilancelo, age 20, childman class. Deployed on a secret mission for five years. Guarantors Letitia McCready, also of the childman class. That's the latest record from the tower. I made the update myself. Officially, you've never been stripped of your rank as a sorcerer. But if you do anything else to upset the tower, expect them to skip the demotions and send a stabber after you. Unfortunately, it seems like they didn't want to wait that long. But in fact, they were the three sisters no more, and I was able to convene with them briefly. <laughs> Who said you could read that? <laughs> Wait, this isn't my diary, is it? Ow. <laughs> I got confused because it looks so much like mine. <laughs> like the one you've got right there in your hand? Oh yeah, good point. I wouldn't have figured you'd keep a diary. I've had so many new experiences since the day we left Todokanta. It would be a shame to lose any of those memories, don't you think? What do you write? Well, one day I wrote about this delicious Tower of Fangs gelato. And I wrote another one about Taprim's excellent pudding. <sighs> so, what's that raggedy book you're reading? I haven't figured it out yet. I can only read bits and pieces. But it says something about the order of the world being destroyed. Or maybe it means transformed. Time to head out, Magic. Head out where? To the tower. Then I'm coming too. No, you're not. Uh, but it's the most important thing in this whole town. Just let me go inside a cultural icon. <laughs> it's a school, not a tourist trap. I'll talk to Pat and Tiffus. I'm sure they'd be happy to take you out sightseeing. You can all grab yourself some treats and make a day of it. Ah, that'd be great. The real Tower of Things is right there behind me. Try a baked tower, but I can't decide if I want the jam bun or the custard roll. A tower fan? We've got just the thing for you, miss. The official mascot, Mr. Tower. Full disclosure, he makes a lousy pillow because of the shape of his body. And he's quite usable as a hug pillow or a draft stopper. Hey, didn't we lock you guys in the shed? Why haven't you left town, you little creeps? Yes! How am I supposed to do business with these snotty little kids around? Scram! What do you think would happen if the two of you ran into Orphan? I guess that means the magic loan shark's got the blonde running surveillance for him. Let's blow this scene, Dorton. Got it. It's a solid product. Mr. Tower's gonna make us rich. Maybe if you give him a more memorable name. Well, originally this place was called the World Seeing Tower. I never heard that. The person who created it was a priestess to the celestial beings. A woman named Esterseva. There's a quote of hers you may have heard. The answer to all questions can be found here. Did anyone come looking? Well, they tried. Some members of the upper echelon. It happened 40 years ago. They started a war with the Kimluck Church trying to find out what Estersiva meant. Ever since, the entrance to the tower's been sealed. The upper echelon? What does that mean? The sorcerers who run things and give all the orders at the tower. Below them are the various classes. They're the ones who carry out the orders. You mean like the Childman class? Right. They're the most powerful class. They even have some influence within the upper echelon. And that gives them a bit of authority over the rest of the tower. It's a problem. A lot of people feel the Childman class gets special treatment. Members of other classes tend to resent them for it, so things can get tense. And now, they don't have Master Childman to protect them. The hierarchy he'd established is falling apart. All this drama because one teacher bailed on them? But he was more than that. Master Childman was the only one strong enough to keep a tower full of ambitious sorcerers in check. I'm not sure it would be wise to enroll while Master is missing. With everything going on, it's that much more important for me to learn sorcery. I want to help, but if I can't back Master up in a fight, I'm just a burden. If you're really set on doing this, you need to tell Forte what you just told me. He might let you enroll in the Childman class. Hey, Tish. What's up? Can you think of anybody who'd be holding a grudge against you? 
that some kind of joke? I'm a respected member of society. Hmm. So if someone should happen to ambush us, then they're most likely trying to get to me. Obviously. Wait, did you say? I knit thee thus, chainmail of Halo! Dragon Faith followers. Without sorcery, how many of these guys can you take out? If I'm unarmed, I don't think I can manage more than two. Weapons? There are some swords in the coach's box. You grab one of those. I'm gonna take point. Cover me. And me? I... You do nothing. Uh... <laughs> Suddenly, they all feel razor sharp. Amazing. I suppose that means I'm done covering you. You should have said you were going to take them all out on your own. It wouldn't have been nearly as stressful that way. probably suffered some organ damage. Don't try to go anywhere, and avoid breathing too deeply. Shut your mouth, sorcerer. What was your reason for attacking us? We're avenging our comrades. But what are you avenging? I don't remember giving you any reason to hold a grudge. Wait, on second thought, maybe I do. You're an abomination. You shouldn't exist. You slaughtered our people like they were animals. Slaughtered? No idea what he means. Demon sword of Quanuk. Now strike! <laughs> That's right, Krelancelo. If you're not happy to see me, I assure you the feeling is mutual. I'm here to escort you. Do you care to reminisce as we proceed to the tower? The name is Hydrant, though I'm sure you remember. Of course I do. But why do you have to kill him? <laughs> I'm not like you. I do whatever needs to be done. <laughs> I unsheath thee! Sword of life! <laughs> you need to control your temper if it's going to affect your technique that much. But I must admit the power behind it was impressive. Had it hit, I would be on the brink of death. Speaking from experience. <laughs> But you were gracious. You left me with half my face intact. After all these years, it would be a shame to lose it now. Don't you think, Tish? Hydrant of the upper echelon came to escort us personally? I guess that means I'm more popular than I realized. Indeed. The tower would like to extend a warm welcome to you all. Master Forte's secretary, Vinby. Lady
Lady Letitia, Master requested that you remain here with this young man and help him finish filling out his enrollment paperwork. Follow me, sir. So you're aware. That man is spying on me. You mean your secretary? Yes. Good to see you still know how to break the ice. It's been five years, and that's the first thing you say? Then perhaps it's better to open with a question. Was it you who killed the elders? No. Do you know Master Childman's whereabouts? <sighs> but you certainly wouldn't be willing to answer either of those, so I don't see the point. Anyway, about my secretary. His name is Vinby Stotal. Officially, at least. I hired him because I needed someone with no connection to the tower. And he claimed to fit that bill. But with a bit of digging, I discovered that he had been expelled seven years prior for bad behavior. After which he somehow caught the eye of Ur Curlane. And if Ur found some use for him, then Vinby is likely a powerful sorcerer. There's no doubt he's had at least some training as an assassin. Why keep him around? Tish told me somebody tried to slip poison into your teacup. Shouldn't you be more worried about all of this? Well, the members of the Ur class are the only assassins at the tower anymore. You remember training with them. Which is why you should listen to me. You know just as well as I do that getting the Ur class against you is one of the fastest ways to get yourself killed around here. Yes, I do. We're going to need to root out everyone involved in this plot. <clears throat> You crossed paths with Hydrant, correct? Seems he was brought into the upper echelon while I was gone, but he was a member of the Ur class too. Last night, I found someone I'm pretty sure must have been a stabber who broke into Tish's house. I see, and the Ur class was surely involved. It must be them making their move. They're trying to eliminate the leaders of the Childman class. On that subject, we received a report that several followers of the Dragon Faiths were massacred on the outskirts of Tafrim yesterday. Wait, massacred? You're an abomination. You shouldn't exist. You slaughtered our people like they were animals. Don't tell me. Afraid so. And that's why I called you in alone. If Tish were to hear this, her response would only serve to disrupt things further. It's the official report on the attack. High-ranking sorcerer Letitia McCready and party were attacked in the road by a mob of Dragon Faith followers. The party was able to ward off the assault, but the attackers... <laughs> ...were all fatally injured? I testify that McCready and party acted in self-defense. Milan Torum. Milan Torum. Also known as Hydrant. It's all too convenient. The Ur class clearly arranged all of this. If Tish caught wind of this report... She would storm right out of my office and make a beeline for their class. <laughs> yes, something like that. <laughs> Where'd you come from? I was here when you came in. Master Ur Curlane. I'm glad to know you haven't forgotten who I am, Crelancelo. I came here to find Hydrant. Why would Milan be here? As you know, he's no longer a member of this class. And you know his report was a lie! That's how things work here! Tish and I didn't kill anybody! Hydrant did that himself. He waited until we were gone. I fought off the Dragon Faith followers, but he murdered them! I have no good reason to believe either of your accounts over the other. Don't waste your breath. The only thing I can be sure of is what my class saw in the aftermath. By the time we reached them, your assailants were all quite dead. Turning a blind eye as always. Here's something you can bet your life on. If you lay a hand on Tish or that boy I brought with me, you're going to learn firsthand what it means to be hunted by a stabber. You know better than to forget who I am. Nobody at this tower would forget you, Curlancelo. You were Childman's crowning achievement, the best of his many accomplished pupils. Even a powerful sorcerer like Hydrant didn't stand a chance against you. 
And that was what led me to realize my error. I'd left a weapon of terrifying power where Childman could reach it. But lest you mistake my meaning, I am more than willing to destroy that weapon myself. And there would be no easier time to do so than right now in Childman's absence. Forte's been trying his best to avoid me. He can't stand getting help from others. Well, I turned in my application, so it wasn't a total waste. Is something wrong? Hmm? It's nothing. But lest you mistake my meaning, I am more than willing to destroy that weapon myself. Orphan said they'd be back from the tower by the end of the day. sure she doesn't leave the house. at all, but there must be some reason for them wanting to lure me here. Oh. 
So you decided to follow us on your own. <laughs> I'm disappointed. What's going on? Who would have imagined that you'd come alone? I always thought you were smarter than that, Tish. Hydrant? But how? I couldn't sense his presence at all. You would have saved us so much time if you had brought Krilancelo along with you. The original plan was to capture him and then use his life to strike a deal with you. But even if he's not here, we can still get what we want. That's enough talk. Let's finish this. Well, either way, we still have to interrogate her. Right, Swain? I know you. You're from the Ur class. Look, we won't hurt you if you tell us what you know. What exactly are you two after? The Browning family's world transcript. The what? You've never heard of it? That's fine, I have expected that. But I'm sure someone from your class knows something. Wait, what do you mean? Why would the Childman class have what you're looking for? You tell me. What do you know? I have no clue. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Looks like we're just gonna have to do this the hard way. Oh, flames! Some real powerful sorcery! I guess they don't call you Death Keening for nothing! Hark a light! We need to stop her sorcery! Silence her now! Hark a light! Dodge, but it looks like it wasn't quite good enough. This will all be pointless if we let her die. She's not going to die. This is nothing compared to the pain that I endured. Fine, just don't go overboard, okay? Follow the plan. Let's get going. You got it. Come on. You can leave. But Tish stays here with me. It can't be. No way. You're alive? <laughs> Ordinarily, I'd let Tish figure out how to get out of this mess herself. But this is a little different. It's you. How are you here, Hosley? Fall back. saved me back there, huh? Guess I owe you. <laughs> you know what? It's funny, but for a moment I actually mistook your voice for Osalie's. <sighs> Is Cleo all right? Yeah. She's resting. How are you feeling, Tish? When I found you, you were already... <clears throat> I mean, you were hurt pretty badly, but I did what I could. I got there soon enough to reattach your fingers, but I'm sorry. I couldn't reconnect the nerve endings or get rid of the scars. Oh. If that's all it is, then I'd say I got pretty lucky. Can't wait to get my hands on those bastards. Enough of that. <clears throat> Crelantolo, promise me you won't go after them. <clears throat> and let them get away with it? Even after they almost murdered you back there? I know you're angry, but getting revenge won't accomplish anything, and I'd rather lose two fingers than lose you again. Then what the hell do you want me to do? <laughs> Get in touch with Forte. I don't know exactly what the Ur class is aiming for, but they made a mistake by trying to kidnap me. That alone should be enough to put an end to them. Forte has support amongst the Tower Elders. He can have Hydrant removed and a spotlight put onto Ur and whatever unsavory things he's been up to with his students. This is the perfect opportunity. He's been looking for an excuse to take down Ur for a while. 
Don't worry about me, okay? I bet if Komi Kron were here, he'd be able to heal my fingers like new. After he found out Komi Kron died, Korgon left the tower without saying a word to anyone. Before I knew it, almost everyone I'd known had disappeared. If you're truly worried about me, then promise me. Don't do anything foolish. Don't go chasing after revenge. Don't leave the tower. Promise me. You won't leave me alone again. Where are you off to? <laughs> Ozily. What are you trying to accomplish here? Out with it! Well, you're in a mood. I'm just here for a chat. Besides, it's about time I visited Tish's place. Enough games! You know, if you're already this worked up, you'll never defeat Ur Kurlane. Oh, Radiance. You're going to the tower. To send out a messenger, right? Even if someone were sent out, they wouldn't make it very far before running into an accident. What are you saying? Ur and his cronies are on the final stage of their plan. It's about time for them to start tying up all the loose ends. No way. They're staging a coup. Quite a few elders who oppose the Ur class have had accidents. They've already started removing threats. But don't worry. I eliminated a bunch of the elders who had been secretly supporting them. So that's why you're hunting down elders. Wait a sec. So you knew about Ur? With Master Childman gone, there is a power vacuum in the tower right now. The Ur class is trying to use that to take over. Ah, uh, and we're in the way. Yeah, it seems their biggest headache right now is how to deal with the Childman class. They're searching for one of Master's belongings. Until they find it, wiping us out isn't their top priority because they need us alive to help them locate where it is. It's the Browning family's world transcript. The what? Browning? I only want one thing. The Browning families. And why are they looking for it? According to the legend, over a thousand years ago, one of the gods, Swedenborg, went berserk. He tried to kill off the other gods so he alone could rule over creation. Afterwards, Swedenborg became known as the Magic King. Since the Kimluck Church worships the goddesses, the legend of the Magic King was taboo. But he left behind a book containing secret knowledge. Over the years, that text became known as the Transcript. Once the Kimluck Church found the book, they hid it, locked it away in the World Seeing Tower. Eventually, they decided to place the Transcript under the custody of one of the heads of the Church, the Browning family. But over time, the Transcript left the hands of the Browning family and found its way into the possession of the Dragon Faith worshippers. And the last known owner of the book is none other than... Childman. When I helped Master with research, I was basically his secretary. That's when I learned about the transcript. According to the legend, that text contains countless secrets. It is a marvelous artifact, and the true source of Childman's power. Listen well, we must obtain the transcript for ourselves, and with it the tower will be ours completely. That explains why the Ur class has been attacking the Dragon Fates, and why they tried to kidnap Tish. They want to use her as a bargaining chip. Do you know where this transcript is supposed to be? What will you do if you find it? Put an end to this! I'm done! If Ur wants the damn book, I'll just give it to him! That won't work. Don't be so naive. <sighs> we don't have time to debate this. Ur and his students are going to attack tonight. There's no turning back for them. They've essentially betrayed the Tower of Fangs by trying to kidnap Tish. If they allowed you to report it to the upper echelon... Then the Ur class wouldn't last a day. They'll be coming after you. Tish, Forte, and your friends are in danger. And now that Hydrant knows I'm still alive, I guess I'm on that list too. They realize tonight is their last chance to get rid of us. Honestly, I know we can handle anything that Ur throws at us. 
But Kentish. <laughs> Didn't know you still cared. And here I thought you had forgotten about your family. Uh, of course I care. Sorry. That was rude of me to say. I'm at fault too. I should be around more. You know what you have to do. Stab Urkerlane. Tish asked me to do the exact opposite. It's because she doesn't understand you. I'm the only one. That's why I'm always right in the palm of your hand. Whatever. You make it sound like I'm not helping you out. Hmm. That's right. You've gotten stronger after facing your old self, and your moves are much sharper now like they used to be. Now you actually match your title. The successor of the Razor's Edge. This is Nornir's legacy. It allows its user to teleport. <laughs> to answer your question about the transcript, I gave it to your student to hold on to. My student? Magic has it? Uwer won't stop looking for the book until he's found it, so keep it safe. Well, see you at the tower. <laughs> Give me a break! As if you could ever actually understand how I feel! If you did, then you wouldn't treat human lives like nothing! Seriously, what's wrong with him? I really hope he didn't wake up the neighbors. I feel like I've seen that woman somewhere before, but I can't remember where. Hey, Cleo. Fancy seeing you here. You seem to be feeling better. Thanks to your sorcery, I'm just fine. It's like I never got hurt in the first place. I don't mean to pry, but are you heading out? I want to go too! Come on, please! I'm like the best sidekick you could ask for! Are you even listening? Master. Magic, where did you get that book from? Huh? The other day, while we were inside Childman's Manor... Magic. Uh, coming! It was just on the floor. Of course it was. She put it there because she knew you'd pick it up. Huh? Hey, the clock's ticking. Let's go. I'm coming too! Uh. I mean, if you think I could help with something. Well, you two aren't much help and you'll probably hold me back. But that's all the more reason to bring you along. Huh? A sorcerer as gifted as me could probably stand to have a bit of a handicap to even things out. It's perfect. Having to take care of both of you will keep things exciting, plus it'll be a good learning experience. Where exactly are we going? Why am I even asking? You won't say. To the tower. Huh? Wait, why are we going to the tower? Is it some kind of super secret mission or something? I'm gonna go track down those bastards who attacked Tish and get some revenge. What? what? Magic and I might not be able to do much, but we're with you. We'll do whatever it takes to help. You can't just chase after those guys alone. Of course. With your help, I'm not alone. Huh? What's that? So get ready. I'll be relying on the two of you to help me out tonight. I get it now. Since Magic couldn't keep his hands off of a book, some bad guy split my head open and almost killed Tish. And now they want to murder all of us to get that transcript or whatever, so we have to take them out first, right? I'm surprised. You've actually managed to sum it up pretty well. Yeah, I'm pretty smart if I put my mind to it. I'm sorry. For what? Sticky fingers? Well, it's not like I meant to steal the transcript. But Cleo's right. Tish was really hurt because of me. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't your fault. It was bound to happen. Uwer's too ambitious. His class would have come for us anyway. So we're supposed to sneak into the tower, but how do we do that? We'll just go over the wall. Huh? Why does that surprise you? 
Are you two forgetting who I am? We're not gonna be climbing it. With a bit of sorcery, we can easily get past that wall. I scale the heavenly snowy mountain! As long as you can neutralize gravity, spatial transfer is a pretty simple process. Follow me. Are you even sure that the ore class is still here? Yeah. They shouldn't have left just yet. Why not? If a bunch of stabbers in full gear went out, the guards would definitely notice. They'd stand out too much. Also, Forte would realize something was wrong with his network. If I were in their shoes, I'd go with the easiest option. Wait in the tower until the dead of night, and then leave when the guards aren't quite as alert. The dead of night? You mean like now? That's right. But it is strange. They should have known that I'd come to the tower. There you go again! Talking like you're all alone. What I meant was they're expecting us, and we should be careful. Couldn't we contact the rest of the Childman class? Get some backup? I would if I could. Even if it's just us three, it's still a good idea to bring the fight to them. Agreed. They're trained stabbers, but we can't just wait for them. Besides... What's wrong? There's a part of me that wants to find out if I'm strong enough to take on the Ur class. If I'm worthy to be called the successor of the Razor's Edge. Now that we're inside, what should we do next? I'm not sure. Got any ideas? Oh yeah, I've got a good one. Let's just have Lucky blow up the whole tower and the bad guys with it. <laughs> <sighs> I should have known it'd be something dumb. So no? But why not? That plan's way too reckless. We're wasting our time sitting here and discussing it. I say we go to the guard room. We can explain to them what's going on. Afterwards, we'll play it by ear. That sounds pretty reckless, too. <laughs> already start their attack. You're close. We're beginning now. Yoslin's coffin! Stay back! I unsheath these sword of light! No way! for this. Stand up, Crelancelo. It's not like I really mind either way. But if you're gonna cause a big scene, the guards will probably be called over. Do you think I care about some guards? Besides, if anyone comes, it'll be Master Orr's problem. It's just one of the perks of being part of the upper echelon. Furthermore, it's a widely known fact that the Orr and Childman classes are vying for power. To any witnesses, I'd just be settling a fight. So you don't care if Ur gets found out? That's some loyalty to your master. The only thing I care about right now is killing you. <laughs> you're the bastard that ambushed Tish! I don't know what your goal is with all of this, but you hit the fact that the Chaos Witch is still alive! I unsheath thee! Come now, Sword of Light! Come on, come on, Mira! Go! I scale the heavenly mountain! I call upon the tiny spirits! I brandish the blade of demons! So this is where you've chosen to settle things. Back in the old training room. I'm sure it's quite nostalgic. <clears throat> Have
Have you ever felt a shred of remorse for what you did to my face? Of course not. This damn scar, every day it reminds me of you. And all of the pain and humiliation that you made me suffer. So you're from Tafram. You're surprisingly young. I never would have guessed you were the sorcerer of the Apostles summoned. Yes, sir. I'm here to accept the trial to become one of the court sorcerers. If you do this, you'll be going against the Elder's wishes. <sighs> You're Milan Torum, from the Ur class. I've heard that people call you Hydran, is that right? And that you're currently working for the upper echelon. What do you want with me? I'm here on the Elder's orders to bring you back. From what I've heard, even Childman was against you coming here. And yet, you chose to go behind their backs. You left the tower in hopes of joining the Thirteen Apostles. Though I can't blame you. Becoming an Apostle is truly an admirable goal. But of all the students of the tower, you're the only one who's not allowed to leave. What do you mean? You know what I'm talking about. There has to be a sorcerer who can kill her at the tower at all times. Kill who? Don't be naive. The Chaos Witch, Ozzily. <laughs> it is your sole responsibility to kill her if necessary. All your training, everything you've learned has been for that singular purpose. You're a sharpened blade made to stab at her heart! <laughs> I couldn't care less about whatever book Ur's trying to find. The only thing on my mind right now is getting payback for the scar you gave me. An eye for an eye, huh? Well, what do you know? I've been looking to get even with you, too. I've never forgotten what you said at the Capitol. And just like your scar, I've been tormented every day since. And that's not everything you owe me. You still have to pay for hurting Tish! I strike at thee! Spill forth glass hail! I unseat thee! Come now, sword of light! Counter! When it comes to sorcery, you're far from my equal! It's time to finish this. After you, we'll take care of the rest of your class! This is the end! I dance within the heavenly castle! Your sorcery may be strong, but that doesn't matter now. It won't be any help in a fist fight. Uh, Orphan? Magic? Shine. What a mess. All he had to do was follow the plan. Damn you, Hydrant. What to do with you? What's going on? Uh... My name's Vinby Stothall. At least, that's what I'm called now. You better not come any closer, I'll scream. Shut up. <laughs> there should be three of them. Hydrant is dealing with Prelancelo. But where did the boy run off to? Damn it. I guess I drew the short straw, having to deal with a worthless girl. I'm not worthless! Let me go! You can read my mind? Dissolve! dragon with you. That's fine. I'll simply have to kill you both. I call on the tiny spirits. How did I get over here? Oh, that's right. 
I was about to get hit by that attack. Then Lucky saved me. What was it? Master called it spatial something. Spatial displace? No, that's not it. Transfer. Oh yeah, that's it. Huh? It looks like the Deep Dragon accidentally transferred me as well. If I had to guess, it was probably trying to send your master with you. Huh? This is all your fault, Lecky. You can blame that dragon all you want, but the truth is, you shouldn't have come. I'll let Milan settle his score with Crelancelo. Swords! Uh, Hynithithus! Chainmail of Halos! Strike true. Uh, uh, I won't stop you if you want to run away. But this stays with me. Uh, I'm quite surprised you're the one carrying this instead of Crelancelo. The transcript! I promised Master that I'd keep it safe. You should have done the smart thing and kept running. It's not like you're gonna be able to get the transcript back. Unless you really think you can beat me. Master told me to protect it. I won't give up! I always feel like I'm in his way or that I'm holding him back. But no more! I unsheath thee! Come, sword of blood! Okay? I finally controlled it! That was a nice what? try. But you missed me. Oh, sword! I've wasted too much time here, and Master Ur is waiting for the transcript. It's really too bad. That boy's sorcery was quite impressive. Then again... No matter how talented a sorcerer is, it's meaningless if they're dead. Don't count me out just yet. What? How did he use spatial transfer? I didn't think it would actually work. That's supposed to be Childman's signature move. How could a brat like you do it? Of course. Crelancelo learned it from Childman, and then he taught it to you. That must be it. I wouldn't exactly call it teaching, but he showed it to... A novice like you can't sustain all of those techniques. You pulled it off once, but you won't dodge my attack again. <laughs> oh, swords! Hark, oh, light! Don't worry about him. Relax. Crelancelo will take care of the rest. This is an issue for sorcerers to fix. Excuse me, but I'm actually also a sorcerer. I applied to study under the tower just yesterday. And I approved your admission. Once this is over, you'll become my student. Huh? Focus on the direction of their movement. Feel their energy. And counter their attack. This is Sunda. It's one of Childman's special combat techniques. Demon Sword of Water! Take this! <laughs> There's no way you can beat me in close quarter combat. Childman personally trained me in countless fighting techniques. Of course he did. So you could kill her. The Chaos Witch. <laughs> I thought you'd have learned your lesson last time. But some people never learn. Let's see if it sticks after I burn off the other half. Don't! Please, no! Please have mercy! Have you ever shown mercy to anyone? The Dragon Faith worshippers? Well, what about Tish's fingers? Dragon with you. 
That's fine. Then I'll just have to kill you both. <laughs> Next thing I knew, Lucky had transferred us both over here. Huh. By the way, is that guy dead? <sighs> nah. I have to say, I'm glad that I brought you along, Cleo. Huh? Let's go. We're putting an end to this. You've kept us waiting. I'm sorry I'm late. I was a little busy taking out some trash, but there's more in here. You surprise me, Crelancelo. I never would have expected you to bring your friends along with you. I was under the impression that you always acted alone. But it doesn't matter now that I have the Browning Family World transcript in my possession. We accomplished our mission when Swain took it from your student and brought it back. There are a whole bunch of things that piss me off. Like having to chase down a couple of weasels that can't pay back what they owe me. Or worse than that, dealing with spoiled brats. Hell, it seems like every other person I meet is just trying to make me angry. <laughs> but after watching you scheme and try to worm your way up the ladder, I can't even get mad. You're just pathetic. You finally have it. The transcript. How many did you kill to get it? How much blood is on your hands? There's no price too great for the transcript. It is precisely because of this book that Childman was able to acquire such power. It holds the secrets to an incredibly strong sorcery within the depths of its ancient text. Hold secrets, huh? Well, you're not wrong, but those secrets aren't worth much. Huh? <sighs> Her diary just happened to be the same size as your transcript. Huh? With a couple of changes here and there, it's hard to tell them apart. Damn you! Kill them! Stand down. You're all under arrest for attacking Letitia McCready, a high-ranking sorcerer from the Childman class. Additionally, you've been accused of murdering Dragon Faith worshippers. Therefore, I've been ordered by the upper echelon to bring you in. I find that difficult to believe. Here's the arrest warrant. Read it. It was signed by Milan Torum. He is still part of the upper echelon. I gave him a choice. He could either sign it and be spared or go down with the Ur class. He didn't hesitate. And now it's your turn. What choice will you make, Ur Curlane? Will you call off your men and surrender, or will you choose destruction? I'm not as kind as Curlancelo is, nor do I have his combat experience, so I won't be holding back. Do you really think you can take all of us on at the same time? You've become quite arrogant, Forte Puckingham. What if I even the odds? Uh, you're here? <clears throat> Why did you show yourself? This is too dangerous for you to handle on your own. But Forte's here. Huh. He's not surprised. Of course, his network. You made one mistake. If your goal is to destroy the Childman class, you have to pay attention to more than just Crelancelo. <sighs> Damn you, Chaos Witch! <laughs> there was only one assassination technique that I inherited from Master. It's a move designed to instantly kill your opponent. That's enough, Kalanzalo. I'll finish it from here. There's just one more thing to do before we turn them in. I need to erase any memories of me. <laughs> Chaos 
Witch sorcery! 